Foul Mouth TV isn't about being nasty. It's not about being funny or witty. And it's not about following any sort of template. It's about embracing the person who said fuck the filter and is following the foul mouth ideals by being themselves and expressing what they believe. We laugh at our mistakes, learn from them, and realize that they help us grow. We don't need to play games, host a talk show, have a schedule, or give a fuck what anybody else thinks to be part of Follow Mouth TV. We don't even have to stream. We just have to respect our fellow humans, be ourselves, and most importantly, have fun with it. We might game, make music, watch videos, cook food, do crafts, code, play with toys, create our own art, chill with our chats, and everything in between. But we're all a part of the Foul Mouth family. As a family, we're here to help each other and help the Foul Mouth family grow and stay healthy. Whether it's keeping people entertained or giving them a place to come and hang out and feel safe at home, that's what we're meant to do. Now go forth and fuck yourselves. Foulmouth.tv. Emil Inc. What's what, up, brother? What is going on, dude? Pretty good, brother. Doing good. You Hell yourself? Yeah. Doing good. Awesome. Doing good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm still, I'm still trying to recover from the party last night. Uh, like, it was fun though, right? Oh yeah. yeah good time. Yeah, good lots time. of fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Fucking actor, director, writer, cinematographer, fucking musician. <laughs> I, I honestly I I kind of I kind of hate you a little bit uh, just yeah. just how good you are you know what I mean like well, welcome <laughs> to the club <laughs> I'm just joking dude. but uh, yeah so uh, tell us about uh, actually let let's let's start kind of at the beginning here sure what what even got you interested in uh, in movies in do, yeah and doing the movies and stuff uh, well honestly just really love movies yeah. just loving movies watching movies all the time uh, you know. It's always like always have like an interest in two different things: music, movies. Yeah. And I don't want to say like people say just entertainment. There's a lot of different kind of entertainment. That's the entertainment I'm interested in: just music and, and movies. You know. Yeah. So uh, honestly, man, uh, watching a lot of amazing films from the day one and just loving uh, the the basically the craft of it, and uh, that's that's really what I dig. And uh, I also love. Uh, you know, of course, when you watch the movie, you, you start you start learning a lot. You see a lot of stuff, and be like, you, you see your favorite movies or just whatever, you know. And you start watching it, and you'd be like, well, you know what? Uh, interesting. How can you do something like that? You know, and you know, yeah. you, you you even you know, as a kid, I don't know if you know, you probably did the same. Um, going to like uh, finding the videos of behind the scenes stuff. Mm. of your favorite films yeah and you start watching that and be like oh shit that's how they did that <laughs> you know or like and you start and that's it almost like schooling yourself yeah. by watching you know I'm, I'm one of those crazy people like if i love a movie I'll, I'll search like everything about it and i will find some crazy videos that nobody probably even have uh, on like a blu-ray or a dvd whatever i will i will always find something like behind the scenes to the point that i really learned the crap out of it yeah and to me just uh the magic of making movies and just movies it just that's that's what got me started because I really love film, man. I just love it. Yeah. So like, I mean, like, so there there had to have been a point where you were just like, like I could do that. You uh, know what I mean? It was it was more like when I was as a kid, man. Always me and my cousins like get together. I fucked I fucked up and went to the wrong. Uh, thing. <laughs> hey, you got to think about that. Oh yeah. This is our first this is your first show. Yeah, this is the first this one. This is the first show. This, this, give, is, give this us, is the first one. Promote so. a little bit, man. Yeah, so we're we're starting kinda I'm starting a new thing here. Um getting away from the gaming. <laughs> right. And and all of that. And really I'm really wanting to just more talk to interesting people and obviously pursue film. Like, mm -hmm. you know, everybody is I'm I'm sure a few people know. Right. Right. That, you know, that 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 I'm actually in this movie that we're gonna be talking about here in yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. With, did a, with you. You did a really so, good job too. Yeah. Yeah, did well, a lot of lot of lot of jobs in this movie. You know. Uh, Co producer, actor, <laughs> you know, man, just like a bunch of some effects, you you know, so it's a good job. <laughs> yeah. Talented, talented. So let me yeah, uh, to go back to your question. <clears throat> what was the question? <laughs> oh, just at, at, at what point were you like like you oh know, yeah, yeah. What can, point? Yeah, like I can yeah. do this. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically like I, I was saying, like back in the day, even we just you know we had like a little hand camera, you know, back in like early nineties. Yeah. You know, and uh, we got the camera, and you know, me and my cousins and my sister, we just did some 
just just you know home movies like we were trying to get something like really like stories and stuff <laughs> involved but it was yeah. really it's crap i mean it's absolutely crap i'm going back now i found some of this like this is terrible but always had interest to do to do stuff like that <laughs> so i i guess going back just you know always had interest you know to do some to put something together that would have like a story in it yeah. it was terrible like i said don't get me wrong it was nothing professional but everything we did just let some things like and, and every year i'd be like well i'm not gonna do that now i'm gonna i'm gonna keep doing my music because I, I was always doing that and i'm still doing music but the thing is man um at one point with the heist what i did i just basically i just said okay i think i'm ready to actually make a, a, a professional film it was a short film but a professional film and i was yeah. like you know i was like you know what i'm just gonna make a movie for myself that I can actually play it one day, and be like, "This is fun. You know, this is yeah. this is entertaining." So, uh, knowing nothing about how how would it do at all, but uh, it, it did good. Yeah. But it was literally just like I'm ready to just just because I thought I I learned enough, and I didn't even think of, to be honest. I didn't uh, you know Nick. I didn't even think about it that way. I didn't think that I'm gonna like I know enough to do. No, I just thought like. I feel like I can do this, you yeah. know, and it was really just, you know, I knew what I need to do and I just did it. You know, that's, that's really oh, what yeah. happened with the heist. Yeah. 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 And, and, and you mentioned the heist. Yeah. And that, that's actually the, the movie that you were in the middle of shooting. Right. Whenever, whenever I met you. Right. Whenever that's right, we that's worked right. together. As, that's as right. The guitar that's right. We did work at guitar. Center, and, guys. Uh, yeah. So why, why don't you tell us a little bit about the heist? I mean, it, it's, it's been, like it's won a fuckload of awards, been to a lot yeah. of, of of film festivals mm -hmm. and things like that, you know. And, and it's really, it's it's really done some like did, awesome things. It yes, uh, it did really good, did really well. And uh, what I love about it is that it was one of those that, like I said, man, it just kind of happened. Made a movie for myself, thought it was fun, tried some festivals, and then like, oh shit, just kind of keep going. Like one, one, another win, another <laughs> another win here, there. So uh, then I was like, okay, okay, cool. So. Obviously, I'm gonna make another one. That was already kind of obvious, you know. I just didn't know what it's gonna be. Yeah. And that's 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 always the problem, so, man. Like you get you start writing scripts and then going from one to another, you'd be like, what the hell am I doing next? I know yeah. it's got to be something different. I also know uh, it had to be something uh, that I interested. Because like I said, I always say that's another thing I will tell you real quick or tell anybody. Uh, do it only if you're really excited about it. If you yeah. just doing it and you have zero excitement don't even bother with it man because yeah. you're never going to do a good product if you're not interested in it that just that just that's that's actually that's a fact okay yeah. i'm serious so that's why finding the right project is always a, is a pain because you don't know what the hell you're going to do and what kind of really keeps you keep you excited yeah if you're still excited like through the whole process of the new one i was basically just like you know i was trying to keep myself excited because yeah. you know there was there was <laughs> there was a lot of there was ups and downs but um but to be honest, man, you just have to find the always find the right project to work on because if it gets if it, if you start getting bored or if you start getting a little bit unentertained, then you just cannot make a good product. You know, this is what I believe. Anyways, uh, go ahead, man. Sorry. Oh no, like that's what. I, and and me, me and you had this conversation a mm -hmm. hundred times oh, about yeah. like either go a hundred and ten percent or don't do it at or all. don't even yeah, don't, don't even bother, bother. like exactly. don't even don't even mess with it i you believe in this I mean? 100 like, percent. Yeah. and we talked about it all the time <laughs> either do it well or don't even fucking yeah don't do shit then if you yeah. if you feel like you're gonna half-ass it please don't even bother with it yeah because it's never gonna be good then you oh, gotta yeah. give yourself 110 percent yeah. otherwise pointless yeah agreed but uh but yeah so i mean it, what was there was there any point like whenever you were either writing mm -hmm. the heist or like in the middle of filming, we're like, this is something special, like you know what I mean? Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, for the heist, honestly, yeah, no, no, <laughs> not at all, dude. I'll no, 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 <laughs> no, dude, absolutely. <laughs> Let me tell you, no, you know what happened? I knew that I have something good yeah. when I put it when I start editing and putting it together. I was like, man, this is kind of fun. <laughs> as as the production went, the script wise, uh, to be totally honest, to script wise and filming, I was just excited. I was shooting on real film first time ever, and that's that's that was like, oh, that's awesome. I'm doing like a real movie. So shooting on film was exciting through the uh, through the uh, production. But as far as what I got, I really didn't know what the hell I got until I actually started putting it together. Yeah. When I start cutting it and then really chopping it to the point, like, I was like, okay, this is <laughs> this is very entertaining. So that's when I knew. And actually, to be honest, uh, that's another thing like, a lot of people don't know. <clears throat> With the heist, man, when I finally put it together, the whole cut, it wasn't a final cut. It was, I think it was like a fourth or fifth cut that I was like, okay, this is chopped well. you yeah. know. And um, at this point, I was like, at the end, I was like, oh, man, I don't have an ending to this. 
there's no ending to this that I'm satisfied with at all. Like yeah. there was not another, how do you put this? Like a, you needed something to keep you be like, okay, I'm satisfied. It's done. And I get it. It, it was kind of left open and I hated it. So I had to uh, write another scene and then tell everybody like, we got to shoot one more scene. Yeah. And then it was weird because normally you, you, you done. And then it's a, uh, then you go to post-production, right? Yeah. With this one, I was like, well, I thought I was done until I watched the cut. I was like, no, it needs a good ending. <laughs> so I changed the ending. And so that happens a lot, actually, with yeah. endings. A lot of directors, just some, sometimes, if they're not sure about the ending, what they do, they shoot two or three different, usually like two different endings, mm -hmm. just for the safe, for the safe, on the safe side, they can go when in the cutting room and then they know what ending works the best, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I did not do that. I just thought I had a good ending. When I cut it together, I was like, this is definitely not a good ending. So it had to be, you know, I had to shoot more, just the end and, and put that. Yeah. And you just have to have that, you know, just like, okay, I get it. Yeah, it's, that, it's that, that little bit of a capstone. Yeah, yeah it's done. So exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, you, yeah. Now, is, that, is that the point where I started helping you with it? Yes. As a yeah. matter of fact, that's right. Because uh, <laughs> actually, that's the same scene. If I'm not mistaken, that was the, the FBI agent scene mm -hmm. when I knew those characters were added at the last thing because something was missing and uh, and it was apparently them because they almost like ended the story just the right way. Yeah, and, yeah. and what a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. is uh, you actually bought a Corvette. Oh yeah, for the for the driving off the mountain scene. It's a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> I, re I remember painstakingly coloring in the fucking the rims yeah, with a sharpie yeah. so they'd be black just like the corvette that's that's funny. The yeah it was a, for those who don't know is that the camera yeah that's yeah, oh, okay yeah so for those who don't know the corvette whoever seen the movie i'm sure a lot of you guys didn't but um uh for those who did see it of course uh that was a miniature corvette we had to find exact same a model of the corvette same color same model and everything as the corvette that uh one of the actors owned that we used in the film you know it it for the comedy, I feel like it works. If it was a serious film, that shot wouldn't work at all. But for the comedy, it works. It works. Really you know, it, if I would have <clears> known <throat> that it was a miniature, you would know. I'd have been like, did he really just drive that Corvette off that cliff? Obviously, we did something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick thought that man. That's awesome. Yeah, and and, yeah. and I'm the one that pushed the fucking thing. That's off right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Clip was miniature too. The cliff was miniature too. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. yeah. So, anyways, it was it was fun. It was fun. But I, sure. I think that that's kind of one of the coolest things is. Uh, like being involved in that process, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, 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 especially with somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing. Thank you, know? you. thank like, you. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just... And like I said, I never went to film school. It's all no. When you yeah. said no, what I'm doing, I'm just literally watching movies and watching behind the scenes. Yeah. It's all. I mean, that, that's that's your film school. Yeah. And your best film school is when you actually made your first film. Yeah. That's your film school right there, real film school. Because I learned so much from the heist, uh, to the point that I could I could do a better, even more more professional uh, film next. Yeah. Because uh, you learn while while you're doing the process, you have Hell to know yeah. it before, but you yeah. learn a lot more. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I do, and I do want to acknowledge we do have a live chat, oh, and yeah. we appreciate all of you being here. If you have any questions that you want to ask Emil at any point, just post them in the chat, and we'll we'll get to them. <laughs> I promise we'll get to them, and, and we're not just sitting here ignoring you. I promise. But yeah, but you did mention. That that you were excited <laughs> to shoot on film now in the oh, yeah. past in the past like what what did you shoot on like, oh like I told you like, like we just get like a hang, like, like a, a little camcorder like a camcorder oh, okay. it's really yeah. bad dude you know and uh, and then I had you know I was at the age of like I could have shot really high high end looking digital now you know but I just don't like the look of it. Yeah, uh, that's where you and me will always fight. You know? But um, I, 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 I don't know, man. You, you've kind of, you've kind of convincing got me. you slowly you're, there you're, to you're, film. Okay, that's good. You're convincing me <laughs> to the point that I'm like, yeah, you're right. But fuck spending that money. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, see, I, I think, I think, I think anything you do, I mean, you're gonna have to spend money to to yeah. get to get it right, you know. So uh, here's another thing I was gonna say, but yes, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, digital, yeah, like at the point when I was sh shooting the heist. There was like you could get so much cheaper on digital, you know, but it would never look the same. The film, man, you, you know, you I don't have to tell you this. I mean, you know, you already yeah. see it. The film look you cannot replicate with digital. I mean, they try and try and try, and they always fail, 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 fail. So um, with the film, man, it's just gonna it's just gonna look like what I wanted to to see, you know, because yeah. I love my my favorite movies that shot on film, and they're all actually I, I most not most. Let me let me rephrase it. All of my favorite movies are shot on film. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, and uh, I won that. I just won that for my movie, you know, for my movies. 
And so, yeah, uh, before just, you know, so I had to try some digital before, but I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it, it had, I knew when it's gonna be right. I'm gonna shoot something on film yeah. when it's the right. The time is right, and you know, so uh, the, the heist was the time. Yeah. I think I thought I think that was the right time, you know. Obviously, because I I didn't almost didn't want to bother with digital. Like you know, like I just don't want to even taking it seriously. I couldn't. So it had to be on film, so I can really be serious about it. Well, know? and that's what I don't I don't honestly think that the heist would have worked on digital. Like Probably it, not. It, it's it, it seems like it a needs movie. That, it, yeah, it needs that yeah. film. It, it needs it that seems film like look. A movie yeah. that needs to be made exactly. Film. I agree. Yeah. Now what? So you're talking about <laughs> film and all this stuff. Like, tell tell us a little bit about the actual like the film and the film stock and stuff like that that okay. you prefer to use. Okay. Uh, why you prefer to use it? Stuff okay. like that. Like, well, back in the day, there was different film stocks. You know, like a lot of lot of companies made them. In today's day, there was a Fuji film. There was there was so many different ones. In today's day, you only have, thankfully, that still Kodak is existing. Kodak is the only film, as far as I know, that actually still produce film stocks. And we're talking about film stocks. We're talking about everything starting from Super 8, which I use, to 16 millimeter to 35 millimeter, which most movies are made, and even even still, 65 millimeter that later printed to 70 millimeter. You know, uh, Tarantino actually shot. Uh, Six uh, Tarantino actually shot on sixty five and printed to. <laughs> you guys know, probably hear my kitty in the background. And, <laughs> and he printed to the seventy millimeter uh, with a hateful eight. That's what he did. Yeah, he did. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That uh, he 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 actually shot on sixty five, the biggest format of film, and then uh, printed on seventy millimeter print. But uh, there's also IMAX. It's crazy, crazy. It's rare. No, it's it's <laughs> awesome. No, the cat. Oh, the cat. Me up, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So, so you, you, you did this, you did uh, the heist in, in Super 8. Super 8, yeah. And then also the new, Community Guild The new one is Super in 8. Super 8. My next one is definitely gonna, going to be on 60 millimeter. Okay. Got the camera uh-huh. and everything. I'm ready for the 60 millimeter. And that's just, uh, I'm super stoked about this. I'm excited about the bigger gauge I go on film, the more excited I get. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a film buff. <laughs> so, the, this, for, okay. Still kind of sticking on the highest here. Like, okay. Yeah. How slash when or whatever, how, how will people be able to see, to see that movie? The heist? Yeah. Uh, well, or the heist. will, when, will they like, or... I, I have this co- question always asked for me. And I'm like, seriously, man, constantly. And yeah. I, I, uh, I was going to put it online at one point on Amazon. And then I changed my mind because then I, I realized I will, when the DCG is released, Dead Community Guild, my new film released, what's going to happen, man? I'm going to have the heist on the Blu-ray as a as a extra, as an extra short film. Oh, that's so what it's I rather be part do. of Dead Community yeah, Guild? Yeah, well, it's going to be just like an, an extra... An extra on a Blu-ray. Okay. Just like if you want yeah. an extra short film, there you go, you got the heist yeah. you want. Because I feel that would be better. You know, it's almost like I, I almost... It's been a while, but I don't want to give it away. Not like... This is not money cost I'm talking about. I'm talking about just... I don't want to be like... If it's online already... Then nobody would watch it on Blu-ray, no. but it's kind of everybody be like, "Oh, cool! I'm watching a new movie now. Oh, there's a heist. I can watch yeah. it now." Yeah, you know, and, and, and it's kind of like one of those. Okay, guys, now for something completely different. Yeah, completely. Yeah, like it's an opposite <laughs> movie. It's like absolutely yeah. opposite. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the heist is a comedy. Oh yeah, very. And very. then and then this one is more of a kind of a dramatic thriller. Would you say? I would, if you ask me, it's hard movie? to place it in specific. I would yeah. say there's a lot of aspects of horror and some aspects of sci-fi. You know the story. You know the script. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but if I have to really label it, man, I don't like to label it because it's kind of hard. For, you know, yeah. it's it's really difficult for this one. But if I had to label it, probably have to to put it in some genre, it would probably have to be a drama slash suspense. That's the yeah. best way I can I can label it, dude. Otherwise, but there's a lot of aspects of different stuff in there. Yeah. But that's the best way. If you ask the director how you label it, this is how I would label it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, man. So now with with Dead Community Guild completely. Like you know, kind of changing gears. Mm-hmm. What? What did you start? Like, what? What made you start? Like, kind of writing it in that direction. Like, was there like a particular like, okay, I want to write, I want to write a thriller, or I want to write a drama. So like, oh no, 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 some dramatic stuff. It was or was not it just at all. A... It was not at all. It was uh, it was weird because, okay, so here's what happened, man. I don't really tell this story to anybody. What happened is, the heist. I was gonna do another comedy. It's called. Nerve wracking sons of bitches. Oh, I know it. <laughs> yeah. I love that script, man. I still, yeah. I still want to do it one day. I was gonna do that one, 
and it's written. It's been written a long time ago, right after the heist. But anyways, I was going to do that. I was really ready to do that. And then, then uh, COVID started. And when COVID started, man, there was just a really weird stuff I seen on, on YouTube. Like, you know, people like punching each other for toilet paper, stuff like that. <laughs> it was just crazy, dude. Yeah. And uh, that, I hate to say it, but that kind of gave me an idea. It's like, what if, what happens when, when, when something happens in the world? How do people react to it? Yeah. And I saw a lot of crazy stuff. I was like, well, it's not fun. <laughs> it's no. not pretty. So um, not everybody, obviously. But I'm saying like some people would act really differently to it. So I was like, well, that kind of like really got me this idea. I was like, well, let's 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 write about something that how people, ch- do people change in a bad situation or they stay the same or they completely drastically change? That was the concept I liked, you know, to mm. be honest with you. You know, the story is very different from that. But the concept came from that, yeah. you know, and uh, and then uh, uh, and then, of course, uh, I don't know if you know, you know that, but a lot of people probably don't. And anyways, but uh, Michael Rodriguez is a good friend of mine in California mm-hmm. who I've met actually um, on, uh, at the festival in L.A. when he was winning his award for his short film and I was winning an award for my short film, The Heist. And we just start talking and everything and just realize that like we love the same movies, we love the same directors, and we just like became real good friends, man. Real good friends. And he's been helping me out since then. I've yeah. been helping him out this since then. We just kinda like work together, like he's in LA, I'm in Texas, and just kinda like, you know, yeah. help each other out as much as we can and stay friends for a long time. Um the thing is, man, and uh so I guess why I brought him up too, because uh he he was gonna do a show called um Strange Files. Mm. And it was supposed to be uh like a series of different directors doing like a 20, like 15 to 20 minute episodes of different horror stories or like scary stories, you know? And uh, we talked about it and he's like, I'd love for you to make one as well. I was like, sure. So I wrote this really quick uh, script, Dead Community Guild, short version that I don't like personally. (laughs) That's why I did it. I I totally changed it and made it the feature that totally is a different movie now that I actually like. But at at the moment, I didn't know well, uh, that I'm not going to like it. You know, when I put it together, I was like, oh, this is not what I wanted to do. You know, but the thing is that uh, his show was great. Michael's show was, they have a lot of great directors coming in and doing some great stuff. And my uh, my episode was almost, was supposed to hit actually, uh, that was a Halloween. And then something happened that the deal, I don't know what happened exactly, but uh, it couldn't air. And then later, Mike came came back with a different channel, and it was gonna. And he asked me if I if I wanna if we wanna put like three or four different episodes and put it like I guess a full, full uh, feature, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, Michael, actually, thank you, that's awesome. But I already started working on like doing that, taking that idea and making a, yeah. a full feature film out of this, a totally different. I was like, just wait, I think you're gonna dig this. And it's like, hey, man, that's if that's that's what you wanna do, that's awesome. I'm <laughs> supporting it because we've been always supporting each other. Anyways, but uh, so. So basically, I'm glad it didn't air mainly because watching that today, I was like, "Oh man, this was not ready. It was not a ready product." Yeah. You know, that's it was just in 20 minutes. It was so hard to cramp a real, real story into it. Uh, you know, I thought because I never worked on features before. What I did, I actually worked on the on highest, which is 23 minutes, right? So I yeah. thought, "Oh, you can take that kind of story and make it 23 minutes." I guess you can, but what I did, it was not the right way to do it. And for this specific story, I had to have an extension. And I had no idea it's going to be a feature until I later start writing it and start. I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's going to have to be a feature. Yeah. And I'm happy it is because now you got developed characters, you got a developed story. It has everything now what I want to see in the film. Before I was not 100%. When I see, that's nothing. When I'm not 100% on something I'm not sure about, I'd rather not do it. Yeah. Again, it goes back to either do it 100%, 110, or don't do it at all. Yeah. <clears throat> and I wasn't sure about that one. And I, I'm glad I didn't do anything with the short version. Because I don't like the short version at all, and now you've seen the short version, and you're gonna, see, and you you kind of know you're familiar with the new one. You know, it's it's a different movie. Yeah. It's absolutely a different movie, and now it's a good movie with a good so, story. I did notice whenever we, whenever we were shooting the short <laughs> version because I'm in the movie too. Right, right, of and, course. Yeah. Um, you were shooting it simultaneously, digital and film. So was it was there always a, a plan for may like either a film theatrical re- release of that short that or not, just like no. a, a full length version okay. and a, just like kind of a expanded That's a very good question because you know what why we did this in the first place? Because the digital camera was rolling for for the show for the strange files yeah. and the film camera was was rolling for the T 
theatrical presentation with that shot on film. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, man, um, at the moment, I thought this is going to be a 20 minute. See, I, I knew it's going to be the digital version going to go to to Michael's show. And since we needed it fast, right? We needed to deliver it fast. But since film takes time to process, to scan, you know, a lot of stuff, then I knew that then after Michael plays it on a show as a digital version, I can take time and, and really cut the movie and make that, the, the short film on film for theatrical release. Mm-hmm. But, I'm, but then by the time I did the, I cut the digital version, I knew that this is, this, the film versions cannot be that, the short film. Yeah. It just cannot be the short film. And then I'm then I just like I kind of a little bit disappointed. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down, and start writing, writing, writing. And I just went back to writing room, just wrote, wrote, wrote extra stuff, and not just extra stuff, stuff rebuilt the characters almost. Yeah, this this story ch- had to change. You know, it had because there was not not much of the story in the first uh, you know draft, so it had to be completely restructured, rebuilt. The characters had to be rebuilt. You know, that was like, you know, man, it's like, a, it's like absolutely a different film. Yeah. Like you won't recognize watching this to this. You'd be like, well, that's two different movies. And the feature version that shot on film, feature film, uh, the feature long version that shot on film is definitely, is definitely I'm something I'm proud of. Like I was with the highest, but that the first video version, I was like, no, that's just, yeah. I don't want to put that out at this point. I No, absolutely not. So like, and, and, and on, on smaller films, yeah. On like you know, <coughs> I guess you would. I I I I'll hate to I hate to like you know say low budget, right? Because right. Lo, low budget always makes it sound like it, it looks cheap. It's like yeah, yeah yeah I got you. I like got you. In, independent independent is yeah. more more kind Proper, of whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. You wear many hats whenever you're whenever you're mm-hmm. you know doing. I mean you you wrote it, you directed it, you shot it. You know, you, you even compose the music for right. it. You like everything like, you know, is, is is done is that is that a pretty normal thing with, with uh with smaller productions or do they normally like kind of farm some of that stuff out if they're able to afford to or again, a very good question. Uh thanks for asking that because the the fact is as far as I don't really know. I do know though that even on independent films, as far as I know the people that I work with, that's always goes to like you you don't do all this stuff. And I'm not saying like, oh, give me like applause for doing all this. No, absolutely not. I'm just saying that you have to find the people you trust first mm-hmm. that can really like add it how you want, how you think. You have to find the, the person you trust who can score the film, music as you want yeah. or shoot the film as you want until you find the trusted people that can really deliver, deliver basically take it from your head and put it there like you want it. Yeah. You, I just don't trust to, to just give it to somebody. And it's not control thing at all. It's mainly just because I see it how I see it, and I want to see it on screen the yeah. same exact way, and I hear it the same. I just want to he- the way I hear and, and, and the see it and hear it. I want to have this on the screen the same way exactly. If it's different, I'm not satisfied. You know, that yeah. I have a goal that I have to make. If that goal is not really, if I'm not putting that goal out there, again, hundred ten percent, don't <laughs> yeah. do it. Yeah. So, uh, so it's it's really it's matter of the trust, and I'm I'm you know if when you find the editor that can really like duplicate what you would do or the score writer that can duplicate what you or, or a photographer that can duplicate you know a writer whatever you know then you can be like okay you take this yeah. you take that i would love that i would absolutely love that you know how much how fast it would be done than oh, the dude. movies yeah. and you know how also <laughs> it would be faster it would be much more easier and then you don't have to put all this gigantic like 10 20 different departments on yourself yeah. and trying to do all this stuff you know so it's super hard when you do it by yourself, it just it's time consuming and really stressful. I mean, I'll be honest. With you. <laughs> yeah, there's the nights I sit down and I like add it or something. I'll be cussing, I'll be like, "Damn, I'm just cussing." <laughs> you know? But uh, but there are uh, love. But when it's done right, it's worth it. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Like you know, okay, oh, it's it's done right. I'm happy. You know, but uh, the problem is, man, the, the, it's always like it's when you find those people that you can be like, okay, they can deliver what I'm seeing. Good. Get involved with those people. Yeah. You know, get them in your team for sure. But before I do that, I just can't because then I I, I want to make sure it looks and sounds just the way I want it to look and sound. So I found fortunately I found you. I found uh, other other uh, people. Michael, you know, there's there's a bunch of people that involved in stuff like that that can actually that can actually help. You know, like yeah. like I said, it's supposed to be departments, man. There's a sound department. There's a there's a the film department. There's that. There's like syncing department. 
every yeah. everything is aspect of different departments. So you 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 go normally on a on a on a on a good day. Let's put it this way: in a good thing, <laughs> you go to the movie if you're directing it. You just go and be like, okay, you got all these people you trust, and they do just what you want them to do. And you you sit down and be like, okay, direct, and you're done. Yeah. Uh, but with me, I mean, I direct, and then I have to do all this stuff. And because I just didn't find the people yet to do, yeah. when I do, trust me, it'd be different. I will give people jobs. Like I would be like, do this and that. <laughs> right now, since I didn't, I would have to do all myself, and that's what taking a lot of time and a lot of stress. Uh, the thing is, one more thing I'm gonna mention. Um, with the, but, with all this said, I just don't feel like I can just let. Even if I trust the editor, for example. Mm -hmm. One thing I would not give the job, the one job I would not give away is editing. Because to me, honestly, editing is part of directing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because you, if you trust your editor, if, if, your, if your editor is completely on the same page, that's different. Yeah. But if your editor is still not, then, you know, you because, you know, I always say you can shoot beautiful, beautiful uh, images. But if the editor, so, so with a cut, with the editing, with a proper editing, okay image can look great. Or with the bad editing, a great image can look like total shit. You know that. Oh it's, yeah. Cutting yeah. is everything. Editing yeah. is everything. So, so my thing is this, man. Um, I don't think I'd be totally. Uh, that's one job I would probably still cannot be. Be like, okay, fully trust somebody because to me, it's absolute extension of directing. That's how your movie will look. Yeah. The cut is what your movie gonna look like. That's a fact, man. Yeah. You can shoot whatever. You can direct whatever. But the cut is what your movie is. Yeah. So I just don't see myself one job. That that job I just know I still be editing my stuff. I mean I would give other jobs, other departments, yeah. But editing I just I don't think I can man. I, because yeah. I just don't think it will be the same movie with somebody else cutting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I hope that makes sense. And you, and you were talking about kind of like the symbiosis between like different different filmmakers and things like that. Oh and yeah. Connections yeah. that you've made. Oh yeah. And yeah. all that. You actually have a part in one of Michael Rodriguez's films that's coming up. Oh, that's right. right? It's like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's a shout out to Mike. What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Hope you're watching this, man. But um, yeah, uh, this is cool. He's, he's making a movie now. It's called mm -hmm. Daisy. It's a feature as well, and it's a horror film. And I read the script. He sent it to me. It's a really exciting script. Really? I cannot talk about it too much. You know how it is. <laughs> but I can tell you it's a very exciting script, and I'm really super excited for him to get this movie done. Uh, he started filming uh, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Really? And yeah, and uh, what I uh, he we talked about it, and uh, then we decided I'm gonna have a part in it. So he wrote me a a, a cool, 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 fun, fun. You, you <laughs> we filmed. Oh yeah, fun yeah. scene, man. And uh, <laughs> so I, I I did a little bit of acting on his film, and uh, I'm playing a really really messed up character, <laughs> but I really love that role, man. And uh, and so yeah, yeah, it's I'm looking forward to that one too. I think his actually his uh trailer uh, a teaser hidden, I believe. Hope I'm not wrong, Mike, but I believe it's actually hitting right on Halloween. So what, a few days? Really? That's yeah. uh, Monday. Monday. So yeah. I'm two looking forward to that. I will talk really? to him tonight and ask him. But I'm pretty much sure that's what he told me before. I hope that's still on the same schedule. So I'd love to see it. Does he have like a YouTube channel? Oh yeah, like Michael. Yeah, yeah, we need to plug that in. Can you actually afterwards place uh, like a link or something? Yeah. Because I, I don't have it offhand right yeah. now, but that would be nice to just just okay. get a plug. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. He's, anyways, his movie is really interesting. Uh, the script is really really intriguing, and. Uh, and it's just gonna be fun to 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 be a part of it. And also, uh, he's a very talented guy. He's a very talented guy. And uh, whatever he does, it's always like I'm always like excited to check it out. And yeah, <laughs> nice. absolutely. Yeah. So and, and like you said, like we actually we shot your part. Oh yeah. yeah. Here. Yeah, that's right. It was and, in this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Studio, I, I actually, right? literally. Yeah. Right here in this in this studio. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, but uh, what I liked about it, uh, see it. Uh, Give good. I'm gonna have to give good points to to this man right here, Nick Stevens. Nicholas oh come on Stevens. now! No, seriously, man. He'll, <laughs> check it out. He lit he lit the the scene up. Beautiful lighting. He shot the scene. He mic the scene. The sound. He pretty much did like he yeah you know, yeah. You, I think I even directed. Kind of directed. Bit, I knew what know, I was doing. Wait, wait, wait. I knew what I was doing, but. <laughs> But, but wait, but he, right. but I was like, right. pointers, come on, pointers. <laughs> and he's like, how about this? I was like, ooh, I like that. So yeah, so Mike, uh, so uh, that that that's got to give a real big applause to to this guy right here because you 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 really, I was just acting, man. 
I was just really an actor. But that, that's it, and that's what I wanted to. I wanted to give you a chance to, just to just to just relax to and don't think about yeah, anything else act. in the production. Yeah. Just to act, and that's exactly what I did and because I, like, I trusted you to do it. Yeah, yeah there you go. And yeah. that's what you know, like. I was like, well, you know, I can I can do all this stuff. Like, I learned from the best. Ah, oh, thanks, you know what I mean? man. Like, thanks, man. I, 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 I'll promise them hundred bucks after the show for the for saying to, to say. shit's on we'll, camera now. We'll so save it. We'll save it. You're on the no, 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 I'm kidding. You're dude. on the no, no. A joke? No, okay, I got you. I'm, I'm editing Good. that. It's a joke part uh, out, and now everybody's gonna think you're an asshole. Oh, you're oh through. great, great. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Right, brother. <laughs> so, okay, so you shot. Dead Community Guild. Right. And we're in post-production now. We're post But there is something very, very, very cool What's that? that happened when we were in the middle of filming it. When you I were able to get... At you? Yeah. Huh? When I yelled at you. Well, that too. <laughs> you know. But okay. you yeah. were able to get yeah. a legendary oh, yeah, yeah, Hollywood yeah. actor mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. on the bill to, absolutely. To, to do the movie. So... Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, how 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 did that process even happen? Like, where where did that just come out of left field? Is Dude. that just randomly? No, 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 or was no, no, it something no. That, that's again something that you specifically requested, or? Uh, well, yeah, I wanted Eric Roberts because I love Eric Roberts. I actually huge huge. I have like five favorite actors. Eric is in, in that five top uh, list. Yeah, Eric nice. Roberts is one of my ultimate favorite actors, and uh, love his films, love his work. He's just an amazing actor. Like over like, yeah. watched him as a kid, man. You know, like in the <laughs> cool movie, great fantastic films. And Eric just absolutely amazing actor. So if there was like two, there was a, about three actors that I really wanted to work with, and Eric was definitely one of on top yeah. of the list. And that what's crazy is that because, again, going back to Michael Rodriguez, okay, who also co-produced the film. Um, so so do you, so do you, yeah, you uh-huh. co-produced it too. Uh-huh. But um, so Michael worked. Okay, here's how this happened. This is really interesting because we talked. Me and Michael talked about like that'd be cool to work with. I was like cool to work with Eric Roberts, also like Lance Henriksen, you know, and, and all of a sudden we're talking about this, Malcolm McDowell, we talk about this cool yeah. actors that I love and he loves them too. <laughs> and then, and you know, and uh, so we're just talking about it and he, he, you know, actually Michael worked with a lot, a lot of big actors before and he's always like getting some big, big actors in his movies. And uh, what I, what I did and, okay, let's go back from the top because I will skip something. So, Michael was going to make a movie with Eric Roberts. Basically, there was some kind of a big project that was going to happen. And, and because of COVID again, it just didn't happen. Okay? Something got, you know, it's deals, man. It's like a lot of stuff you have to work on. So it was going to happen, but didn't happen. So Michael already knew Eric Roberts' uh, agent because of that pr- project. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And then since that didn't work out, I was like, um, I was like, I'd like to, I told Michael, I was like, well, just be so cool. Oh, the cat. Your cat. Yeah, the yeah. cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Special effects. In the yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. But I was, I was gonna say, you know, and I told Michael, I was like, would it be possible since you kind of know Eric Roberts' agent? Would it? I mean, I would love to get Eric Roberts in a film. I know it's, it's gonna be hard, but is it possible? Is there a possibility? And Michael said, Yeah, I can c- contact his agent. I will set you up with his agent, and you make a deal and see what happens. So he sets me up with the agent. Because Michael does that. Michael helps all the filmmakers, man. That's yeah. how Michael is, you know. Uh, and he sets he sets me up with the agent. Then we start in this back and forth, you know, uh, email contact that you like. So of course the agent wants to script. The agent want to know what's the movie about, you know, to give yeah. it to Eric. So agent gets the the scene, okay, not the script, the scene, and gives it to Eric. And Eric, and Eric and his wife, they they read the script and. Uh, and they like the, the, you know, Eric likes the script. And then he, uh, agent asks for the the full script. Now they want to know the story, which makes sense. Uh, yeah. It'd be the same way. If like, like now what's the movie about? You know, <laughs> got the scene. So uh, he gets, uh, I get him, I send the agent the, the, the full script. He gives it to Eric. Eric really likes the script. And then next thing I know, they saying, okay, we're going to be on board. Just, just let us know. Let's get the times and when. So that's how it happened, man. It was pretty amazing. I had oh, yeah. no idea it would happen. I trusted Michael, and uh, Michael said, "Yeah, it will happen. You just gotta make sure you convince yeah. them. You, you, if you, and he's like, your script is good. There's, you know, so uh, yeah, that was man, that was amazing. I still can't believe it sometimes. I have Eric Roberts in the film, yeah. but this is cool. Yeah, absolutely. I, love Eric I actually, I, I learned recently mm-hmm. that Eric Roberts was the first, or like actually the first choice." Mm-hmm. 
for Tarantino and Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Absolutely, yeah. And he couldn't get him. Yeah. Like, it, mm-hmm. like Eric was yeah. unavailable. So mm-hmm. how does exactly. it feel? Being oh, able dude. to pull off oh, something that's... that even Tarantino couldn't do. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Eric was the choice for the character that uh, who play who later was uh, played in the in film was played by what's his name? Was it Eric Stoltz? Eric Stoltz. Yeah. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. It was a, he wanted Eric Roberts. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I just love Eric Roberts, man. He's an amazing actor. Oh, Wor- yeah. Working with Eric was just like wow. It's like it's almost like a, I learned. I learned. Yeah. I, I learned a lot, dude. Like you working with such a professional actor, it'd be like, wow, this is, I'm just like rolling the camera, <laughs> action Eric, and Eric just does, every take is fantastic. It's yeah. pretty amazing. And that's yeah. what, I've, I've seen him in a ton of movies and oh, stuff yeah. like that, and I'm so dumb, mm-hmm. it took me until you started, you, like you had him in your, you know, in, in, in oh, yeah. that community guild yeah. for me mm-hmm. to even put the two and two together that, he and Julia Roberts are brother and oh, sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so, yeah. And his how. daughter is an actress. Yeah. I mean, the whole family is really, really talented. Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> Eric Roberts is a legend, man. Oh, yeah, God, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So what was it like working with him? I mean, you know, like, pe- people always say, never meet your heroes, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, was this kind of that? I mean, was it? No, no. That yeah. was like opposite. That, like, opposite, yeah, yeah. I was actually even like, I, was, I always respect and like, but this is even more now because yeah. he's such a super nice guy. Really, you know, you usually and you're right. There's a lot of actors you meet and be like, okay, well, that's not what. Yeah. You know, with Eric, it's opposite. It's like, wow, super nice guy, man. So we and he's like, next next project you want to do, just just call me, man. I yeah. Like, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> no, super <laughs> nice guy. We talk. What I love about this whole experience too, not just filming, but meeting Eric was cool because between takes, what we're gonna do, and me and Eric would just talk about. I'd be like, ah, you know, I love what you did with that film and this, and we talk, and he tells me the stories behind the scenes stories of yeah. my favorite movies with Eric Roberts that you would not read anywhere. Like, you know, there's some stuff he told me that you normally it's not in, in press, like how the filming was done. Like I had no idea that Runaway Train, one of my favorite movies was actually shot on the moving train, you know? And Eric's like, yeah, it was, it was weird because we, 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 the train was moving most of the times and we filmed while the train moved. So that's super difficult and to do. What, I don't see how they did that because we tried filming oh, yeah, in yeah. a moving car. Yeah, it's always yeah. And the audio well, was but you got horrendous because well, like, you get the Yeah, yeah, but we are we are low budget. We talk we're independent. This is like yeah. Hollywood. This is MGM Studios, dude. They 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 it's millions of dollars. This is millions, you know. So that's a big <laughs> this is a huge budget movie. So um, you know, anyways, and um, but yeah, man, uh, just talking to Eric about the movies that I love with him and the, his acting his performances and he just like give me this cool stories oh yeah this we did this way and that way. I was like that was really cool <laughs> that was awesome dude that was really that's that's really memorable to me I will remember that because like I said just just talking to Eric just like normal talk and then you just learn so much cool cool things like from from movies like Runaway Train he told me some cool things about uh Nature of the Beast which I love it's actually Eric and Lance Henriksen together man they're just like so much cool stories behind the scenes that you you no, so to to answer your question, dude. Fantastic person, dude. He's he is like the coolest guy you're gonna meet. Now he's really super yeah. cool. He's an awesome guy. Yeah, for sure. And and you actually went to L.A. or well, Ca- well California. California, yeah. Because people, I always say like people think L.A. immediately, and what it is is a cat. Well, we filmed. Okay, so what we film is Michael. Okay, Michael is in Fresno, California. Mm-hmm. Eric is in, in in Hollywood in L.A. L.A. Um. So Eric is in LA, and then what we had to we could have sh- we could have filmed in LA, we could have filmed in Fresno, but Michael, lo- okay, let me tell you something about locations in California. It's not like here. I mean, we're talking about very very crazy to find a location. I mean, there's locations, but we're talking about, well, not just that, <laughs> Money. not just not just that. It's even like getting permission is a pain. Yeah. It's a real pain. So uh, locations are super difficult. So again. Michael set up some location that he he knew with some people. It was in between L.A. and Fresno. So Eric had to actually uh, drive. Uh, uh, they drove Eric for about three hours to the location. And we probably had to drive about a few hours to the location. It was like we're trying to make sure it's like in between, you yeah. know. And yeah, man. But uh, it was I, I keep forgetting what exact spot in California that was. But if I if I actually again, we can post that later because if I go online and I'll exactly find out yeah. but it was between la and fresno okay. so yeah it, it was actually more like a it was almost like some kind of a, like a what is a resort town you know it was kind of like that it was a really cool place man i've never been there before 
Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, because and what people will see here in a little bit in the trailer is mm -hmm. it, it almost looks like it's kind of on the edge of some ranch or something like that. Actually, or? and that that was that was if I yeah that was actually like a place where uh, there was some business on that Mike knew about, like the people he knew, and that's why uh, it was easier to make a deal with them as far as like the location wise. But he knew the people. This is a private area that Michael knew, uh, the people he knew, and uh, so what beautiful about that spot? It's all mountains in the back. And just kind of like, almost like a desert. Yeah. But what people don't know, because you don't see it in the film, the other side of it is highway, man. <laughs> it's a highway. It's constant. It's like crazy. It was. It. Was, I was worried about the sound because uh, you know you get car passing by left and right, and you have a performer, the actress. You always you you're afraid to get that sounds, you know, that of the cars. You know, you always like worry about that because in a in a and technically would be best if it was just like no cars, right? You get yeah. it. But we had a good sound guy. Very good sound guy. Also from uh, from Fresno, uh, Raul. I I'm sorry, don't remember the last name, but Raul is also Mike's uh, Michael's uh, uh, sound guy. And the best part about it, he made sure. And I was like, man, just please make sure the sound is super. For me, the visual, the sound is as important as visual. Oh, you yeah. have to have both Absolutely. perfected. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, I just I ha it had to be both great. And you know what? Luckily, the sound guy was super badass, and we got the. I, I shot it. I got the great uh, film images, and uh, he got the great sound. So even though we had cars going back and forward, and we had to stop, be like Eric, be like, "Oh, car!" And I'd be like, "Oh, car!" <laughs> we did like you know we you know we was, but mo but uh, you know even when there was cars sometimes passing by, we got the great sound, and so that. Yeah. Was, but what what you don't gonna see is that you see the beautiful mountains, beautiful desert, and but what you're never gonna see in the movie is the other side is literally a highway. Yeah. But then past that highway, there's more mountains. Okay. Which is cool. Yeah, it was a pretty nice area. Dude. It was really nice. A good location. Yeah. So how how stressful is that being? Because obviously shooting on film, mm -hmm. it's it's not like digital. No, where no you not can at all. instantly see exactly the shot right. that you got. I mean, you you have to wait and pray. To, to, that yeah, everything and turned exactly. Out. You have to know what you basically you have to know what you're doing. You know, because yeah. uh, you, you, on film you never see the actual result immediately. You're gonna you're gonna send this film to be developed, processed, and then after that you're gonna have this film sent to be scanned and that's when you can actually look what you've got you actually see it so that's always stressful especially working with eric roberts i was like i'm hoping this footage with eric would be just perfect you know you, you yeah. don't want it and luckily it was all great you know yeah because it just seems to me like as many moving parts it's just like when we were out shooting that uh that b-roll footage like this kind of the the scenery footage and stuff mm -hmm. yeah we had a roll of film go bad on us oh yeah and we don't we don't know at we one had point no, we don't, bad, yeah yeah you know? and so that happens like, that that well you know to be fair it can happen with digital if your card is messed up yeah let's just say your card is messed up you roll and roll and then you'd be like oh crap nothing works you know so let's be fair but you can <laughs> but at the same time you're right you, you can, know it right you then, can though. still check it right yeah. there <laughs> with film you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have so so I would say you need to know your camera like really know your camera. You need to know how the exposure works on film. You have to know this, otherwise you're really just kind of going blind. So you have to know this really well. And most of the times, if you on it, your film is gonna come out just fine. But you just have to know your, your stuff, and that's really important. Yeah, exactly. So what what's a, what's a day? Which I mean, I already know this, but what what right. what's a day on <laughs> set? Yeah, like from your point of view. Like what? What? What's the experience? Like? I'm again the question. What do you mean? Like, uh, like, what, like, what's the experience like for you? Like, I mean, is it is it just super stressful? Or are you having a blast? On a specific just, day or just like every like day? Just, just on the just any given day. Any given set. day on the yeah. set of this film or just any set? Any film. Oh, any film. Any okay. Film. Well, it's yeah. different. It's different. With the highest, it was every day was just fun. There was never stress on set. It was just fun. With Dead Community Guild, there was fun days and there was really not fun days, because, and I think really you know what it, it really it's not. I start thinking later. I was like, it's probably not because it was tougher. I think the problem was, it was actually because of the story. How gloomy the story is. Yeah, it's a really depressing story. You know it. Yeah. So I think because you know how you start working on a movie, right? And you you get like a comedy you work on. You get in that comedy. You, you really dig the comedy because yeah. it's fun. You know, you're just being you having fun. When you work on a drama and really like dramatic, uh, gloomy story like this, you get in that mode. I think you just get in the mood of whatever the story is. So, you know, uh, De uh, Dead Community Guild is a really, really a downer story. <laughs> so so you get so, in that mood and you'd be like, oh, so, man. <laughs> so much so that, that you yelled at me one day. On That's Saturday. right. That I, and... I think I yelled at everybody at one point. <laughs> I hate myself for doing it because you know me, man. I'm, a, I'm not a bad guy. I'm, not, I'm a nice guy, I think. But, but I did, I think, got to the point 
that I will start losing my shit. Excuse my language, but <laughs> and I'm not even at this point to 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 say that I'm like like completely losing my stuff, but I, I like losing my nerves. But no, but it, it was like there's some days like if it doesn't work and it keeps not working, you'd be like, okay, something's gotta freaking work, you know. And yeah. then I start, and then I lost a lot of. Um, I, I I yelled at people. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I, I'm not that kind of director. You know, you've seen me with the heist, always fun and dangling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. What a lovable that's, guy. That, that's when yeah. I was like, Who, who's this? And what the fuck did you do with what, my friend what, of male? What happened to you? <laughs> it's the story, man. I'm telling you. It's oh, the yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So... You said you said it's hard to to kind of fit into a to, to fit into a specific genre. Oh, yeah. You, right? you, you know. You and know you've said, like... And, and 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 you've touched on like you know what the inspiration for the story, but if if you were hard pressed, if somebody had mm-hmm. a gun to your head, okay, and said, "I want you to describe this movie to me," I'd be like, "Like what? What? What would what that I would say? Be? I'd be like, "Go ahead and shoot me." Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I really cannot describe. If you really want to get this out of me, dude, I tell you. Okay, story wise. Or just, uh, just a uh, yeah, uh, like genre, dude. It's so, so you know, genre is hard. If I had, I can give you like ten genres, and then we can put it all together. I mean, I can say drama, suspense, sci-fi, horror. That's it. That's that would be all the basics. You yeah. Know? But that's that's not how you do it, you know. But if if story wise, I really cannot give you any story plot. I wish I can tell you about the story, which you know. But I wish I can tell people about the story. As this is weird about this movie. As soon as I start giving a little bit of this story, then I have to give it away. It's almost like there is no way I can tell t- tell you about the story without yeah. any without giving at least one spoiler. I hate spoilers myself. I cannot stand them. So, and especially with this story, if you spoil it, don't watch the movie. You know yeah. that's the sad part. So, um, and we've actually got a chat message in here. It says uh, from one, I, I, and I hope I'm saying this correctly. One to one pro. So the mill. I'm proud of you, brother. Can't wait to see the film. Oh, dude, thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, bro. It really, really means a lot. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, that's like, cool. But if I had to, if I had to, yeah, you know how the spoilers are. You just cannot do it. So my thing is this. Uh, but I can tell you, a con- not a concept. I can tell. Okay, it's about good and evil. Mm-hmm. That's definite. Yeah. And it's about right and wrong. There you go. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. It's kind of deep in there. You know, you know, it's a pretty deep idea. You know, behind all this craziness, there's a deep message in there. Yeah. And uh, again, I cannot say the message otherwise. You know, so. <laughs> it goes to the toilet at that point. Yeah. Okay. But uh, so yeah, I mean, like, and, and we we talked about the location in California, mm-hmm. but but the the main oh, location yeah, yeah. of mm-hmm. the film right was in Dumas, Texas. Dumas, Texas. So ha- ha- like. And and you and I had talked about this before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, on one of our many drives. To oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. We, went, we had to go a lot that, because that, yeah, you know, lo- locations tell as much of the story, story, and there's as much of a character, especially in this particular in this film. particular film, especially. You're right. As as the the actual actors are mm-hmm. so absolutely yeah. Like what what made you pick Dumas, Texas? Okay, good question. Um, because well, two things. We started actually shooting. And we never got the proper locations, okay? Uh, I think at one point we started at Shamrock. And then I just like, it's not working, dude. Something. And this is in Texas, by the way. Oh, Shamrock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas. And it yeah. just, and you know, <laughs> and it just did not work. You know, it's just like, it's just something's not right. I talked to my very good friend. Shout out to my buddy, Travis. Good friend of mine, Travis Gibbons. And he said, I was like, dude. And I was just like talking to him like, oh, shit. You know, this is like, I'm just trying to do this. That's not working. It's like, dude, just shoot in Dumas. He's from Dumas. It's like, just shoot in my town, Dumas, with just some great locations. So he shows me the locations. I was like, dude, this is exactly what we need. Those yeah. locations are beautiful. It's like almost meant to be for this film. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> amazing and a- and locations. And actually, yeah. I, I remember it's, 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 most of the movie yeah. is on Middlewell Road. Out in the That's middle right. of nowhere. That's outside right. Of, yeah. yeah. So. Locations are fantastic in Dumas. You know, I absolutely love Dumas because, oh, and there's another thing I'm going to bring in. So I was like, Travis, do you think you can set those locations for us? I would love to shoot here. I just, I was immediately like, like I'd start taking pictures like, this is perfect. And Travis is so cool. He talked to everybody in Dumas, the city officials and everybody. And everybody said, yeah, just do it. Yeah. We got the biggest support from Dumas, Texas. And from 
great people of Dumas, Texas, man, complete support for us to do pretty much anything we, we want to do in their town to get this film the way we need to get it, you know? Yeah. And that's really impressive and amazing to me because I worked in a lot of places, dude, a lot of different states, and I never had as much as amazing support like we had from Dumas, Texas. Man. Yeah. The and people of Dumas, Texas, man, really impressed me of just like generosity and how, how amazing... How amazing they just like they, they they the support of Dumas, dude. I'm telling you. Well, you know, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, the absolutely. support of Dumas is absolutely amazed me. And uh I would just just for that. So I I will always push do promote Dumas because of that. Because like I said, we never I, I'm I'm stunned how it how cool the people there. Yeah. You know, and to me that also says that like, yeah, I would want to work with Dumas again because and I want to bring people maybe from other other directors from other states, from Colorado, from California, to make to hopefully film in Dumas as well. Because Dumas, man, I'm telling you, very impressed, very impressed. And yeah. I would, I, I it, they made my job completely easy. Because you know, you you can you can go as a, a lot of people as a filmmaker, you go and do your stuff, and then you got like you, they just build your bricks of limitations, the yeah. walls, man, not bricks. Yeah. And you'd be like, well, I cannot do that. I can't. Well, I might my, my hands are tight. And there's not much you can do as a movie maker because when you got limitations, then you're pretty much like, well, I guess we're gonna go with this instead of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Duma said, "Do your movie, just make your movie." Yeah. It's like, and That's they, amazing. they actually, yeah. they, they got a, a certification, didn't they? Recently? Oh, yes, just recently happened. Uh, Dumas, Dumas, Texas, I just got uh, official uh, film friendly from uh, Austin, Texas. So, so the Dumas is now officially. Officially, the town of filming. It's a film yeah. town now, which is amazing. And so that's I'm by the Texas very, Film Commission. T- Texas wasn't? Film yeah. Commission. So that's Austin, pretty Texas. exactly. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm really proud of Dumas for doing this, and uh, we're proud to present first film. Yeah, first shot in Dumas. Yeah, man, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. First, first of many, I hope, man. I hope so too. And like I said, I hope so too. And like I said at the top of the show, I'm, I'm still recovering from the part. Dude, we were there till what three a.m. or something Oh yeah, like yesterday. That? Like, that's yeah. right. We, yeah, we were, had this amazing, amazing event. In Dumas, Texas, put together by Travis Gibbons, my friend, and, and also and, Kevin Lee. Oh, and Kev, that's right, yeah. Kevin. Kev, oh, yeah. Well, Kev, actually, producer yeah. Kevin yeah, Lee. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Kev, producer Kevin Lee uh, put the event together. Travis Gibbons <laughs> had the <laughs> Travis Gibbons had the uh, the party going. Like he he got the uh, Travis was the party guy. Kevin was the uh, the event guy. So both of them really put it together, and then everybody was was there. Everybody yeah. was there, and you know, like everybody from from the city officials, like the mayor, everybody was there. It was and really, uh, we've got really we've got cool. our uh, and we presented our the... starring actress in the chat right now, Taylor who? Norman. Oh, Taylor! Also, What's up, also girl? mentioned the the <laughs> massive grasshoppers that wanted to eat her. Oh yes, they wanted to eat them and oh, stuff. That was that's right. <laughs> yeah. we, I guess we can talk about that. Yeah. Okay, so um, there was <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke in case some in case you all don't know it, it is an inside joke. Oh yeah. So we when we went. The first, that was before Dumas. When we went, act, that was the first couple of days when we when it didn't work out, and we went to uh, Shamrock, Texas. And in Shamrock, there was a. It was really hot summer, and we didn't know where we, the location we were at. It was crazy because there was literally a grasshoppers this size, you know. And they and uh, so Taylor Taylor and Karen, both of the lead actresses, they were just like yelling their butts off and just like running around <laughs> everywhere because so that was like ah, oh, you know, it's a grasshopper. Yeah. Anyways. But then I forgot. I think it was you, Taylor, who said, "Ready, uh, what is it? The radiate, uh, the, oh, the, the, the ra- radio, radioactive, radioactive yeah. grasshopper." Yeah. So that from that point, the joke was born. <laughs> so then I was, I started sending them picture of this gigantic and like yeah. uh, grasshoppers and stuff. Just, just keep the joke flowing. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it, was, it was always fun stuff like that on sets. But yeah, so that 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 party going back to that yeah, party, yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff, that, right? there were quite a few people there. Oh man, like, we got. And city officials, pers- mayor, personally, and, like and, I mean, it, it made me like feel really happy mm-hmm. to you know not only be a part of the film, but to see how how into it they were, like oh, you know man. what I mean, like how supportive. That's I mean, exactly we we right. had the mayor was there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The like the city the, officials, like the head of the chamber of mm-hmm, commerce, mm-hmm, right? Exactly. Yeah. And also, uh, one of, one of the like city board judge, members, city city judge, two right. city judges. That's right. That's right. They were city judges. It was yeah. very impressive. Uh, all this and just to see all this great people supporting the film so much, yeah. and that just like man, it made us feel was, really special. To then know we had live music, Jonathan Guidi and Jonathan Touch and Voodoo, Jonathan and also Jonathan Guidi with Endeavor after the Jonathan. new. 
project he's got with Travis that's, playing the drums. That's right. And let me tell you something about and, uh, Jonathan, man. Jonathan is impressive oh, guitar dude. player. Amazing guitar player. Yeah. Amazing, man. Yeah. I've, it's been a long time since I've seen somebody play a solo with their tongue oh right right that's like, a classic way man you I, know? only like people like jimmy Hendrix and like, yeah, yeah he was sitting there playing that and i was like both impressed because of the guitar aspect mm-hmm. and then i was like i bet his girlfriend loves him <laughs> <laughs> you're right yeah. <laughs> that's Those awesome ladies. so <laughs> so amazing amazing event uh that uh travis gibbons and kevin kevin lee put together and as a matter of fact and the, the support from dumas the amazing Dumas uh, people that actually brought to us, we felt like we were not just support, but also like we were really welcomed. Yeah. And they really loved the trailer, and that was really cool. And that that's what one of the things that really struck me. It was like, they they literally, I mean, they treated us like we were one of the members of their community, like that's, family. That's you know amazing. What I mean? that's, 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 that's what I'm still it's, amazed. Like, yeah. what, a, what a great people. Yeah. Know? It's really great. And that's that, that, that was one real... of the biggest takeaways I had from talking to everybody mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. you know, exactly. from... From, you know, just, like, people that were there to yeah. the actual, like, you know, like, city officials. Absolutely. Was their, their biggest thing is, like, everybody there is just kind of a big family. They all help each other out and stuff like that. And, and I think it's really cool that they, you know, went above and beyond. Yeah, exactly. To, exactly. to show extra support, well, you I, know, for the film and stuff. I but. think that that's what I even told, I told them. I was like, you know, it's it's like community that care for each other. That's a rare, rare <laughs> that fucking cat. cat. Oh, yeah. That's, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got special effects in the background. That's yeah. cool. But anyways, I was going to say, it's the community, dude, that really cares for each other and supports yeah. each other. That's a rare thing in today's world, dude. You know that. It's a very rare thing. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, we premiered the trailer last night in Dumas. And it was fun, dude. Right. It was a great, great event. Yeah. And then the and then the trailer premiered on YouTube and at now 10 we're p.m. After. last yeah. night. An mm-hmm. hour after we premiered it in yeah. Dumas. Mm-hmm. And as of like like right before the podcast, we we checked it. I mean, it, we're we're pushing almost a thousand views in less than twenty four hours. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And we're actually we're gonna we're gonna show that trailer here. It's gonna be live, right live now. right now. But we're gonna link the 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 you're gonna link the YouTube link. Oh yeah, later yeah, to yeah. to yeah, whoever yeah, yeah. missed it possibly. So yeah. yeah, so we're gonna show the trailer right now live, and I, I'm hoping this is gonna work. I put this little button here. I'm hoping this this message is gonna send. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if you're if you're wanting to check the trailer out at any point after we play it here, then just go ahead. And I'm hoping this button. Oh, it says it's not fixed. Damn it. They fix you. I'll crap. tell you what. <laughs> fix your crap. <laughs> in the description, whenever this is processing at the at the end of this, I will put a link to the trailer. Mm-hmm. But. For now, can we do the live trailer? Oh, we huh? can. Oh, yeah, we're doing. Oh, the live okay. That was right like that would be cool. So people, well, no, I, was, I have I have a button right here that's supposed to put a chat message in there ah, that has a link. I got you. Okay, but okay. you do it later. Well, at yeah. least you do it later. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's but good. without further ado, actually, you know what? You know what? Is there is there anything that you want to tell us about this trailer? Uh, besides the fact that it was a lot of work to put together, right. a ton of work. Well, let me put it this way: just one thing. I'm not going to take anybody's time on this bull crap. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight to the point. The trailer is super hard to cut, any trailer, because you have specific amount of like minute and a half just to put a lot of information without spoiling anything. Yeah. And I, we talked about, you and me talked about this. It's funny because uh, back in the day, like 80s and 90s, you had a trailer that really excites you. Like you really want to see the movie because they don't give away too much. So you're excited to go and see the movie in the theater. Yeah. Today, unfortunately, a lot of times what they do, they show almost the whole film, chopped in the whole trailer, and then by the time you see the trailer, you're like, man, I already saw the movie. What's yeah. the point? So what I was going for here, that's all I'm going to say. I was going for one thing, to give you excitement and give you a little tease, but not show almost anything so you can go to the theater, check the movie. You're such a tease. <laughs> You're such a tease. All so right, that's so all I'm going to say. Yeah. Out here in YouTube land. Right here, third exclusive. No, that is that is a third exclusive. Man, let's keep going exclusive. This is the trailer for Dead Community Guild, a film by this man right here. Check it out. Roll it. I know most of you ran out of all resources and have nowhere else left to go. If you're listening to this radio transmission, then write this down. You heard the radio transmissions yesterday yourself. I don't know why it's not on the map, but it doesn't matter. All we have to do is get to Highway 125 and we can find the town from there. We have a small community here in Bradford, Texas, and our doors are always open. 
Is this really it? It looks like it, yeah. Well, where is everyone, man? Turn around now and go back where you came from. What bothers me is, well, do you see any cars on the road? It doesn't make any sense. What is the destination, you ask? The destination is hell. Blind man, you're a fool. God damn, boy, see, look. Okay, <laughs> I've seen this trailer like 637,000 times whenever we were testing it out, and like, I don't know if y'all can see my arm right now. Still gives me fucking goosebumps, man. Uh, thanks, like, man. Like, dude. Thanks, dude. Like, gives you goosebumps, and then, you know, a little <laughs> something you can't see under the table uh, there, too. You know what I mean? Like a good-ass movie, but <laughs> dude. Dude. Oh, man. But, yeah, so we, we've got Taylor Elizabeth Norman. That's right. Star of the show. Star of the yeah. show. we got Karen Collin. That's right. Another star of the show. And... So and and, it, and it's as I said, and they're inter introducing them. Yeah, introducing Karen was actually in the film The Heist. She was yeah, in the, in the yeah. Heist, but The Heist was since the reason we're definitely introducing Taylor. That's her first film. Karen done a bunch of short films before, and The Heist was one of them that won a lot of awards and stuff like that. But um, but the reason we we're, we're introducing both of them because they neither one of them done a feature film before. And yeah, this is a big feature film, so so it's introducing them both. Yeah, and they both did an amazing job, by the way. Both of them, really good job. Awesome. Yeah. And then, so is there, like, obviously, I don't know if you guys recognize that sexy guy with the gun or not, but that was that was that was my boy. Yeah, Nicholas Stevens. <laughs> I, I gotta get an introduction for this guy. Yeah, that's right. So Nick, Nick did you did you did a lot of stuff in this film. You did the sound well. We got Jonesy, also sound guy, also, and then you got we got you. So half and of them, for those of y'all that, that don't know the name, John, it's Jason Jones. Jason Jones yeah. is is one of my sound guys in the movie. It's, he did half of the film, and and Nick did the second half of the film. So basically, Nick did the sound, location sound, mic, and everything. You know the um, he did co-producing the film together with Kev, Kevin Lee produced the film. Uh, Nick Nicholas Stevens, you co-produced it. Michael co-produced it in L.A. The, the stuff in LA and uh, what uh, basically that's not all but then you acted in the film you know that's another thing yeah and you did some effects like a, like a after effects that we needed to add later that clock was awesome dude what clock we're not gonna talk about yeah that's right we're not gonna talk about the clock <laughs> but there you know this man did a lot of stuff in here so every I feel like this whole project this whole film like everyone had not just one talent they put it into the film yeah. They had multiple talent. They all contributed, and to me, that's that's what the real good teamwork is about. Yeah. You, know, you contribute everything you got, all the talent you got in that project. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and see, that's what I think. Like my favorite thing about working on an independent film, which I've never worked on anything but an independent film. Right. But I mean, to work on a major big big budget film. Yeah. Don't lie. You worked in the Hollywood pictures before. <laughs> Only the dirty ones. <laughs> there you go. But no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead, dude. I'm sorry. But no, I, I, I really like the aspect where, you know, every, everybody everybody wears many hats. You yeah, know? yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Everybody a days, through a lot of different talents. Yeah, exactly. Like, especially, like, whenever we were shooting the main bulk of the scenes mm -hmm. with, with, with Taylor and Karen. There was a lot of scenes in a day that we like, had to cramp had to in one day. Yeah. I had to instantly switch from sound guy <laughs> yeah. to, to an bad actor. guy. Yeah, and that's, that's tough, <laughs> you know exactly. And like, and, and, but I really, I really enjoyed the challenge, and and I don't know. I, I feel like it, you know, just gives everybody a more well-rounded. I think so experience. too. Experience. I think so too. Well, you also, you know, I, I always said like, if you work behind the camera, even as an actor, if you work behind the camera, you kind of get a different glance of how this all works. You know. Yeah. Like outside of being on the camera, sometimes you like step out and be like, oh, well, that's that's different. Well, and, and that's you what know, you you always see <clears> like you always see. Uh, you know, like these short little clips, or you know, these like video or audio recorded deals of these uh, 
like actors that have complete meltdowns on the crew and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And and I I don't know like Christian Bell is an example like going off right. on that lighting guy. During oh yeah, the that's Dark right. Night, that, was it? Yeah, I think it was. And yeah. I I think that dude, you know, I, I remember I, listening to this crap. I was like, that's really? bullshit. <laughs> like, you don't talk to anybody like that. It's yeah, and that's cool, what. Man. And like that was a lot of people there. Yeah, and that was just not cool. And I and I think start starting with independent films, yeah. wearing those mini hats, right. doing those mini jobs, learning the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like it, it, it helps you empathize with crew members when and if you ever do work on a large budget yes, film. Yes, exactly. You know? It helps, and, it's, it and helps. that's and that's important. You know, oh, to, yeah. to be able to, you know, like know where the dude that's holding the mic is coming from. Yeah, and you know, or the you know the guy running the camera, you know, mm-hmm. the cinematographer, the oh, yeah. the grips the lighting mm-hmm. guys like all that stuff to really exactly. you know like be familiar it helps man yeah. because uh, that just i think that gets you more as a professional then you become more professional actor yeah. because you know what to do what not to do where to stand where not you know what i'm saying you yeah. you start understanding the not just there you know exactly what's going on around you so you you are more professional yeah. yeah exactly agreed so like mo- <laughs> like a, well uh, pretty much basically all of your films like you you've been an actor in Right, and you were you were you were you were one of the main actors in the heist. Right. So, are you gonna have a part in Dead Community Guild? Uh, yes. You know this. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, we have a scene together. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. There is a there's a small. See what I do, and I always say that the heist. I'm not. I'm. I'm just an extra, almost. I mean, like, like not like cameo, but I'm just a a little part because. And I was going to tell you, that I'm glad you brought this up because I was going to say, I'm really, it's really super difficult when you direct a movie and be in the movie. And I'll tell you why, because I'm one of those people that I want to, I, I got to see everything through the lens. I got to, yeah. I got to check everything around me. And then when you behind, when you're actually on camera, <laughs> you lose that and you'd be like, ah, okay, what's going on? You know? So I, when I do that, I always put myself as like a, something smaller role not really i'm never gonna do lead because then who the hell is gonna do the movie you know what i'm saying so um i'll do it well like i said (laughs) if it's somebody else's movie (laughs) that's different but uh but anyways uh so i was in heist i was not you know the richard richard connor was the the lead you know Mm -hmm. the cop the guy who played cop and uh i was just there you know and then uh i was the one of the characters that not suit, not important at all. Same goes for the, for this. You know, I, I purposely put myself in a really small role. You know that that is that we can do without, if you will. You know, and you know, so I don't have to. So I still can concentrate on the whole visual aspect of it versus yeah. just you know. But that that's it. Yeah, and and, and that that gives me also an idea. That also wanna that gives me a chance to say, I respect the crap out of the people like. Mel Gibson, Jackie Chan, who directs the whole film, who yeah. will direct the whole movie and be starring as a main character. That is extra hard when you direct and you behind the, uh, on camera all the time as a lead. That is super, super difficult. Because yeah. you, you, and you have to at one point, at this point, you lose control from that part behind. Yeah. Behind the camera, you lose control. You lose control, and then you, but you still have to be in control also playing the character the whole film. So I give the big pluses to those guys, man, because yeah. they know how to do that spotless. You know, <laughs> that's hard. That stuff is really hard, man, for sure. Very difficult. Yeah. Nice. And that's what, like, so, and, and whenever we worked at Guitars at Center, and there's, a, there's actually, it's, it's really funny. I think mm-hmm. the kind, kind of like light or paths are both of our lives have taken. Right. Right. Because we found out that. We went to the same elementary school. That's crazy, man. At the same time. See, that's weird. That we is... worked at the same news station at different times, different but times. the same news station, that's and crazy. then ended up working together at, at the Guitar, Guitar Center. Center. <laughs> and that's when we actually like met. Met and started talking, and about, started film, talking about film, music, film and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's and crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's the... you were telling this to Shandy yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Was like that's weird, man. That's... <laughs> yeah, it is weird. I mean, but uh, that's like Twilight Zone shit. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> now. A bit, a bit more about like Emil as a person, right? Right. So you you moved here. What was it around like nineteen? Oh, that's not ninety-one. That is honestly not interesting stuff. Oh like, yeah, it Emil, is. Nah, Come man. on now. Come on now. So <laughs> yeah. you, your your family moved here from nineteen ninety-one. USSR, yeah. Yeah, USSR. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, like, y'all moved here. What what was the transition like from for for you? As a kid, as I was a kid, a, dude. Yeah, yeah. As, as a kid, what what was it like? Because I mean, I, 
you, I changed schools a couple of times. Right. And it freaked me and the it fuck can out. Be different, in the yeah, same yeah, yeah. town. So, I mean, no, what, what was sense. it like from moving from one country to something that's, you know, like completely different? Honestly, as a kid, I, not much. If I was like in my teens when we did, that would be a different case. But I was only 11, dude. In 91, I was 11. So as a kid, it was just like, oh, cool, new place. Interesting. You know, that's that's honestly how it was, man. You know, it, I think when you, if I was older, it would be a huge change or feel as a change. Yeah. But honestly, man, when you're 11 years old, you're just like, oh, okay, I guess we move here. From <laughs> there to another look. From point A to point B. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and then yeah. so, something I used to always give you shit about. Yeah, whenever we were working, you always give me shit about it. <laughs> all kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Every, everybody always assumes, like they 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 kind of like synonymize Russia. Yeah. With being cold, uh, I used to always give you shit because yeah, this is... we'd be standing outside smoking a cigarette yeah, at a guitar right, center. Right. Yeah. And you'd be just bundled yeah, up like I know. look like a fucking Stay Puft Marshmallow <laughs> Man and stuff, and still be shivering your ass off oh, and shit. stuff. So yeah. What what was the part of the USSR that that you came from? What was that like? You learned well because yes. Now remember Sam did the same same thing. Yes. I was <laughs> yeah. like, dude, I'm from Russia part that is California weather. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where I was from was always warm. It yeah. barely snowed, dude. If it snowed, maybe snow like two days, and it was like still kind of warm. It never was cold. So it was always uh, California weather. So when they say, "Oh, you from 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 Russia," so you must be from Alaska, you know, like that kind of, I was like, no, <laughs> man, I, I cannot stand cold. I'm always like to be warm, dude. Yeah, that's and it. also, uh, yeah. Sunset Alley said in chat that the trailer is fire. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate it. Anybody, anybody support, and I'm glad whoever watched the trailer liked it. I really appreciate your comments. I really do. Uh, post, post it, promote it, uh, help us out, like, you know, but thank you so much for that comment. That's awesome. I'm glad you liked the trailer, for sure. And and what what so we've got the trailer right now, mm -hmm. right? And what's what's the plan going forward, like as far as like a release uh, okay. and and things like that, like so kind of what what what's the roadmap we're gonna take here before okay before we could uh, before that's we can see it. that's the newspaper asked me the same question. I cannot unfortunately answer this. Yesterday he asked me. I was like, I really can't because, well, you know how the post production, you know how it is. Yeah. You know, again, I'm doing a lot of jobs. You oh, know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, I'm slammed with different different stuff that I'm doing. So as far as when, if that's the question, as far as when, I can only tell you it's definitely next year, hopefully in the beginning of next year. But I cannot tell you date and, and I can't even get you a month yet. As it progresses, post-production is almost done, but it's still a lot of stuff yeah. to be done. So as far as that progresses, I can give you more answer on that one. As far as like now, mm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you something that I might not, yeah, you know, like yeah. the date, the, 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 I don't want to give you a deadline that I might not do. Now, the, again, the, the thing yeah. that we're talking about right now is obviously the, like the, the, the theatrical premiere. Oh yeah, right? theatrical. Yeah, we're talking about theatrical so, premiere. And, and that is actually oh. going to premiere. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. I got the wrong. So, yeah, I got, okay. Yeah, but, the first, first premiere we want to dedicate to Dumas because Dumas has been amazing with the with the promotion with with the support that we got. So we definitely plan the first, you know, at least a weekend. Hopefully, maybe a week. We don't know. We need to we need to discuss this. But we definitely first premiere of the film theatrically will be in Dumas, Texas, and it's going to be at Evelyn Theater. Yeah. Um, run by Randy. Randy, we'll get the we'll get the link and we'll post yeah, that too. Absolutely. But Randy is awesome as well, and he's he, he's really he wants to do that, and we want to make sure that Dumas gets it first. Yeah, it's and very actually, exclusive. A... It's exclusive, like a first run. Gonna, yeah. Dumas is going to get the first run. Absolutely. After that, it's going to hit New York, and uh, there's a uh, there's now, the, as far as like theatrical release? theatrical okay. New York. I talked to the guy already. This going. And then we still. And is that just in one theater, or that's, is that going to be? That's that's in... a one theater. Now I will again okay. give details later. You yeah, know, that's something yeah. I cannot give now. Uh, it will hit L.A. Uh, I want to say California, but it's going to be L.A. And again, a one theater, as far as I know right now. But we are hoping to get way more theatrical releases because I love home releases, but nothing beats the actual theatrical, you know, yeah. movie theater premiere releases. And we're planning to do way more, but at the moment. The first one who gets it is absolutely Dumas only. It's exclusive Dumas release. And then, and we even doing this, like exclusive Dumas get it, then we'll probably wait a month before we show anything 
Uh, you must see it, then nobody see it for a month, and then people start seeing it. And so, in other states, like a month later. So now, like now, as far as like you know, Dumas getting to see the movie first, oh, is there going to be a whole event tied to that? Well, and all that. Yeah, I think the... we're going to do like a real red carpet presentation uh-huh. in Dumas. You know, we're doing the whole, whole shenanigan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole the shebang. Whole, yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> it's going to be because Dumas is, Dumas been so supportive that Dumas gets not just a premiere. Dumas gets a red carpet premiere. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you know, all actors and 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 uh, and the cast and crew would hopefully be there, and will definitely be. You know, hopefully I say hopefully, but it should be there. You know, yeah. everybody should be presenting and being there to 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 be at this big event because yeah. it's going to be a pretty big event. Yes. Yeah, and then to kind of give some more shout outs for like people that have working there that have worked on the project, we've yeah. got uh, Kenneth Lee Tolbert. Oh yeah, Kenneth man, he's a uh, great actor. Been great in... actor. Like he's been in an he's been a lot of, of the stuff. Walk, the Walking Dead. Walking Dead. He was in uh, eighteen. Uh, what is that show? That Paramount show, eighteen eighty eight. Oh yeah, yeah. eighteen eighty six. Eighteen eighty six. I'm sorry. Yeah, eighteen eighty six. Also, Austin did an uh, uh, eighteen eighty six. Yeah, well. Austin, who was uh, the uh, that, that was Vandergrift. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you know, but Kenneth, I'm glad you brought him up. Kenneth did a lot of cool work, and Kenneth is a very, very, very good actor. Oh yeah, yeah very good actor. I really enjoyed working with with, with Kenneth. He's yeah, a, see, that's what I, ne- I never got to see him on set, but whenever, like, the, a, I, I think actually the, the first time I met him mm-hmm. was whenever we went to go oh, to that's Sharp right. and Iron Studios. That's here right, in town to chat with was, him. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And Kenneth, man, he's a pretty solid dude, and he he's a very strong actor. Yeah. He's, he's really like, when he's, and you know, his delivery is just like always like on oh, him. Oh, yeah. Know, he's got this. Yeah. You know, like, he, he's a professional actor. Yeah, yeah one, of, one of the things that I really respect about him as an actor mm-hmm. is he, he's not, he's not, like, okay, so a lot of actors, mm-hmm. whether whether they're you know, especially when they're first getting started right, out, right, they have this uh, this I guess idea of what it means. To, you know, it's just oh, I, I just show up and then like right. all of a sudden people start calling me, right, and all right, this right, stuff. Right, right. But he he knows, man. How he he the whole he will, works. Like, I mean, he invests his money into travel, mm-hmm. into into like education, yeah. like taking acting classes, mm-hmm. and you know, and and actually like honing his craft and all that stuff. And yeah. I think that's. I mean that that's huge for oh, that anything. Is, that you know? is I mean, like, and yeah. that's and that's the right attitude to have if you want to succeed. And know? I gotta admit, uh, the first day I met him, I already knew, man, he's gonna be like, he's a pro. Yeah. You know, you can tell, like, <laughs> you, you know, you like, you know, immediately, like, like he knew everything about yeah. about the craft, and that's that's always makes it easier on you to like, yeah. okay, okay, well, we're good. <laughs> we're good, yeah, exactly, yeah, absolutely. But uh, and then also we've got. Uh, Kevin Lee, Kevin producer Lee, of the film, producer of the film, film, also an actor in the film. Yeah, right. Also an actor in the yeah. film. We've got uh, Connor Downs. Connor Downs is amazing, dude. Oh, I, dude. I absolutely love Connor. He's a good friend of mine, and Connor is a great actor. And he's actually yeah. he's got a project. Is it in production right now? Okay, or? here's the thing about what I can say about the project. He has a feature film, a comedy that he written with a friend, Dane. Who's also in the movie? Also in the movie. Yeah, it's like this it's like big, happy... it's, a, it's it's funny. All this all this community works together. Like we yeah. all do something and we all come together somehow. But here's the thing, man. Yeah, and they both wrote this script. It's a, it's a very good comedy. I read the script. He showed it to me. It's it's awesome, dude. I cannot wait for them to put it together. Yeah. They started filming. Uh, they are in some kind of a like a production had to stop for some reason, but uh-huh. nothing bad. They are definitely getting back into it. And Connor, I know Connor's gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, I think. I, that that's one of the most challenging things I know, about making an yeah. independent film. Is oh yeah, you gotta. There's a lot of fucking stuff. life happens. And yeah, then, yeah, So yeah. you know, like, and, 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 and you know, whether it's the whoever is directing the film or yeah. one of the actors or you know several of the actors, like yeah. you know, people people have lives outside. Yeah, exactly. Of, and you know, you, you know, can you the, not always can get yeah. everybody on the same schedule. You yeah. know, that's just something happens, man. And that just and that's not, and that's understandable. Yeah. It's not something you can be mad about, you know. Everybody, oh, yeah, everybody's no. doing yeah. their thing, you yeah. know. Everybody's got different dates. You can know it's the most hardest <laughs> thing I realized to put everybody in the same day to be there. Yeah. That's the hardest thing. Yeah. That's one of the hardest things to be honest. <laughs> with. I've learned that, but uh, but with Connor, man, Connor is an amazing, amazing actor and the best. And I know with Connor, man, I I am pretty much. I read the script, so I can tell you when Connor put this together, it's gonna be an awesome winner, dude. It's gonna be a yeah. great. Great uh, comedy film, it's and actually, awesome. we, Connor worked at Guitar Center with us. That's right. That's how I, I think met him still, too. He still works. He's, there I think now, he's still yeah. there. But I, that's how I met you guys both. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So I mean, it's a music store, and we got, all, we all got, we, got at least three film guys together. Well, well, because because <laughs> because let's go back. We're all musicians. Yeah, we all all yeah. three of us are musicians. Yeah. You know, and that's how we end up in the music store. Yeah. And then you we realize, <laughs> hey, let's make movies. Let's make movies. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. We, and speaking of the musician thing, you've actually you've released albums. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like you've released music videos, Man yeah. on the Throne. Man on the Throne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we did that. And so wh- where where can people find your your music music aspect? Yeah. Amazon, iTunes. Yeah. I mean, it's like everywhere. But and they uh, just search for Emil Inc. Emil Inc. And, and sometimes okay. you have to search. It's weird because sometimes you were uh, you you search with Emil. I-N-K ink or uh-huh. I-N-C ink. But if one doesn't pop up, search another one. Okay. You know, so okay. one of them yeah. pop, will pop up. You know? yeah, and sure. then as far as like that, the, the, the Man on the Throne Man on the Throne is a, is a music video that Kevin actually directed it. Kevin Lee? Kevin Lee directed okay. it, yeah. yeah. And uh, we did the song and it was a single and we needed something to push the video, uh, to push the single, you know. Uh-huh. And the Kevin did the video. We manned the, the video to... to Took off like crazy on YouTube, yeah. and that helps. That helped the sales of the single. So that was cool, man. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I've been doing music forever, man. I've been doing music since I was fourteen. Okay, you know, I'm not even kidding, dude. That was real. That's a real, real statement. Uh, you know, music has always been in me. The music is my thing. You know, that's why. I, that's that's another thing. I was like, you can score it, but I don't want to give you the score. Of <laughs> I like that process, but I, that that would help too. You know, somebody. Yeah, to, and then as far you as know, like, but I, I mean, love music, dude. Yeah, that, I'm a musician first, and, yeah. a, and a filmmaker second. I always say that because I think naturally that's what it is. I hope I do good. I, I hope I do well, both of them. But uh, but I feel like yeah, I, music will never leave me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, I will always, even if I do film, music will always be there. I will still do something music related. That's yeah. just, just something you cannot erase. You know what I mean? And you, yeah. and you actually you play several instruments, right? Yeah, I just yeah. play I, I just play drums, bass, uh, guitar, keyboards, just a couple and just. Oh, you know. Is that all? Well, well no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, not, it's not right now. I'm just saying. I'm just playing. What I was trying to say. I'm just play, play the basic instruments that I. Those instruments I can record an album yeah. by myself, track everything myself, yeah. and I'm good. Yeah. So I'm, like, <laughs> bass, I'm not playing like violins, you know, like a, the, the trumpets and stuff. Like that. But I do. I mean, I, basic four instruments. Like yeah. with a normal band, will play. Yeah, I do play. I do. And I record my albums usually always just track all the instruments myself. Yes. And then there there was something pretty cool about about Dead Community Guild. You actually had a, a symphony. Yes. Like, oh man, I forgot about actually, that. Thank that, you for bringing. Actually, actually thank you for bringing that up. Some music that you wrote. I, or well, they played some music. Th- yeah, that's right. That's right. That's I'm totally forgot. I'm glad you uh, plugged that. And I thank you for that because I totally forgot. So there's a couple of uh, cues in the uh, score of the soundtrack. That uh, I wrote, I written, and I give it to a good friend of mine in Germany. Yeah. Uh, Christian, his name is, and we, we might just start putting all the links. That would be really helpful if oh, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, that'd yeah, be really cool. Yeah. But Christian, Christian actually is such a, a cool guy, man. He he likes what I'm doing. I like what he's doing musically, film, and he's like also huge film bob and a great musician. So what happened, man? It's a uh, he heard one of the cues like, dude, I would I would like to maybe I have this violin player. He's from Germany. He's like, I have this violin player friend from Russia. Well, we can't we just try something just to get and just uh, to have the real violence? I was like, go for it. <laughs> it's like yeah. this is a this is normally you don't get just like that. You know, that's that's yeah. that's you have to find those people. He offered. He did a great job. I was like, okay, now I'm gonna give you a piece that I want you to arrange for the symphony. That piece that I wrote, arrange it for the symphony. I want this to be symphonic, like literally with real violence and stuff. So he arranged this beautiful arrangement for some, for the piece I wrote, yeah, and gives it to the viol- violinist in Russia, who plays. Now check this out. Like I play all the instruments, he plays all the parts for violins, track oh, it, okay. and it's you got the real symphony orchestra. There was <laughs> one one writer, one arranger from Germany, and one violin player from Russia. It's crazy, awesome. right? It's great. Yeah. And it sounds fantastic. You heard it. <laughs> it's great, man. So it's like, yeah, real strings, man. We got so, that. I mean, there, 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 there are a lot of very, like, you know, very Talented big, people, man, yeah, from very, different parts of the world. Yeah, you know, a lot of honest. talented yeah. people yeah. involved in it. And it just, like, a lot of... It, it's just, it's not something that you see in independent films a lot. You know, I mean, oh, a lot yeah, of yeah. times, you know, they, they shoot run and gun, which mm-hmm. is, you know, they just kind of... Yeah, so yeah, they, they shoot just try, film well, and they, they kind see, of throw it together, you I, know. I and, think uh, I think the main problem with that because they're trying to do it fast, 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 fast. Yeah, I'm trying to make it right. Yeah, I don't care about fast, slow. I just want to make it correct. Yeah, and if it takes people from other part of the world, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. That's actually more the better. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that's what, uh, <clears throat> like, one of the things, and and I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, speaking of, you know, like doing it right, doing it big, yeah. like. You you actually and you did this with the heist also. What's up? 
but the the sound mix when you're watching it in theaters oh, or yeah. if you're watching yeah. it at home is actually in surround, digital five five one one yeah surround yeah. sound. So that's 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 the one thing that a lot of filmmakers, independent filmmakers, don't do. Yeah. Because that's adding to your uh, mixing, mm-hmm. to your sound mixing is triple, quadruple work. You know. Yeah. But the end result in a theater, you know how it is. Surround. Everything is surround now. Going stereo just doesn't cut it for me in a in a theater. It just doesn't work yeah. anymore. I mean, it's like it's just like okay, I get it. I just watched a big budget movie, Hollywood movie, and I heard this amazing sound. And now you're gonna play my movie. There's gonna be two speakers. Nah, I just can't. So I, I I'm going for this big ass sound. I well, I love surround sound. You know? I think I think a lot of the problem is too, is most independent filmmakers mm-hmm. they're not making a movie for a theater. Oh, They're that's true. That's true. No, that's YouTube that is that is real too. I agree. Yeah, like that, yeah, know? yeah. So, that's I mean, true. And but like... some some do though. Some do. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm the only one who does surround. Oh yeah. No, no, no absolutely just, not. Yeah. No, say it's a it's a very uh, unique aspect. It's just a, it, you know. And I just you know, for me, I agree. Yeah. And, and I'm sure there's like a bunch of them that a bunch of filmmakers that do that. Of, of course they do. But for me, I just I just like it. You you've been at the highest premiere. You you saw it in a Cinemark theater and you heard the sound. You know what I mean? Isn't yeah. that a huge difference? You were at the Cinemark theater, heard that. Watched it in theater oh, and heard dude. the sound, and yeah. then you when you it, it almost like doesn't it doesn't take it away that it's an independent film yeah. at this point when it's shot on film and has a surround sound you'd be like okay I'm watching a movie yeah you forgot what <laughs> it's an independent or not independent it's a film it's yeah. a well production well done production wise film you know and that's what and, and I hate to fight like keep bouncing back and forth no and that's stuff, cool that's what we're doing here we're just going going back to the music yeah you actually prefer to record that analog as well yes uh real to real yeah i love yes yeah, I'm, I'm a i don't want to say like i'm an old guy that lacks everything old-fashioned no i just like good shit yeah well. and you know like film looks better than digital 100 yeah. percent. so i shoot film analog tape sounds better than digital so i record on on tape analog you know i just i just love i really love i love it's it's you know what it is it's organic part of it yeah, it looks and sounds organic, and that's what I. That's what it, to me that's music, or to me that's music to my ears with tape and just a visual eye candy with film. Yeah, you know, I I don't want to go. If I if I don't if I don't if I basically what I'm trying to say, I don't want to do something else that doesn't feel like an eye candy or music to my ears. Does that make yeah. sense? I just don't yeah. even want to do it. You know, so that's why I go that route because I know it's it's everything just more work that way. But but to be honest, dude. End result is what what matters to me, yeah. And end result when it's gonna when it's gonna look and sound fantastic, then I've done my part. Then I've yeah. done my job right. You know, at least I satisfied myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how how challenging is it to find the equipment to do everything analog? Because like you know, like you said, everything's digital nowadays. I mean, they don't make super eight cameras oh, anymore. Dude. They don't really make yeah reel to reels. They don't even really make reel to reel tape that much anymore, do they? Just one company, couple of companies. Yeah. One one in Germany, one in in US. I'm not a big fan of US company. One Germany is still a good company for the tape, uh, for reel to reel tape, and uh, uh, for for film. Like I said, just right now, as as of now, it's only Kodak in US. Yeah, and. Uh, as, as far as film cameras for Super Ray, I mean, you can get 35 millimeter cameras. They still use it in a big motion yeah, picture films, yeah. even 16 millimeter. Super, uh, but you know the problem is the Super 8. The last Super 8 camera was, if I, I don't want to quote it wrong, but I believe it was in 1986, if I'm not mistaken. We need yeah. to quote and check me, and you'd be like, he's wrong, <laughs> or I'm like, he's right. He actually got it right. I believe it was either 87, 86 or 87. I, yeah. it, actually, 85 or 86, if I'm if I'm correct. So. Uh, you you cannot buy a brand new camera. I mean, you can get what you can get is a as a uh, what is it called old new stock? Is that how you say? Uh, refurbished? No 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 no. Uh, like like so, oh so it's like stock that never sold. Yeah there you go yeah the box, so it's still it's new yeah exactly. that's okay. what I mean like old yeah. new stock. So you can get either old new stock. Uh, I hope I'm saying this right. But anyways, but it, you can either do that or you can get really beat up cameras. Yeah, I've tried beat up cameras before the highest and they just they just don't work right. Everything yeah. something's just doesn't work right it's they, they just kind of you're never going to get a good image out of that you know yeah uh so you need something that's solid still works solid so with the highest it was an okay camera super 8 i found it was it was workable camera let's put it this way yeah with this one i had to buy a camera that actually like basically brand new just in the old box like you said like like yeah. never been touched and those cameras are working today as they would work years back in the day the mechanism is solid. Nothing 
honestly, it's really hard to break them down unless if you start throwing them around. Yeah. Those cameras are much more uh, doable than some digital cameras today. I'm not even joking, dude. Yeah, because I remember like there was one at one point. Yeah. Uh, one of the cameras, one of the Super 8 cameras, got right. dropped, dropped off of the tailgate. That's right. Of yeah, because we because we had two. Yeah, we had stuff. two in the production, two yeah. cameras, and that old the camera that. got dropped, and yeah. it still works, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm using a new camera, but it's still. I mean, we can film with that camera; it'd still be fine, you know. Yeah. So, and they they durable, <laughs> man. They really work good. Yeah, absolutely. Finding them is hard, but you can always find it if you're looking harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you look hard enough, you'll find it. Yeah. Well, and then I mean, once you find one, I mean that that's your camera for. Years, yeah, years, yeah, years, exactly. You there know. you go. Exactly. Very true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So musician, filmmaker. Is there anything else <laughs> that, <laughs> that that you do? Uh, you know, that, you, that you'd like to share with us. Here? I think I'll just keep it at that. Just keep it at that. Yeah, we all do a lot of different stuff. Man. Yeah, and we all have different. <laughs> stuff. But I, that's the one that we're gonna showcase. All those right. Two. Yeah, yeah, sounds that's good. Cool deal. So. Where can people find past work that you've done? Uh, past work. You talking about music or film or, or both? Uh, both, both. Either okay. uh, music, yeah. iTunes, uh, Amazon. Oh yeah, we we yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I'm, I'm talking like the film, film uh, work. Well, film uh, specifically, like, or, and then as far as the music goes, like the the Man on the Throne. Oh yeah, yeah. You go uh, video. can we again? Uh, if you be so kind, just post yeah. post them. Give them a lot of links. Oh, if yeah. they're interested, they can always check it out. If they're not, they'd be like, screw this. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but <Fuck> that <laughs> Russian. <laughs> but what I want to do, I would like to put the links in because if they really somebody watched it and really be like, I kind of like to check it out. Yeah. You got all these links there. Nice. But you can find a lot of stuff, music videos on YouTube. You can find films. Unfortunately, you don't have anywhere online because like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm saving my award winning film heist for the special what is it? Like a like a extras for the extras in the release of the home video release for the De uh, Dead Community Guild as an extra. But so you won't see any any of the movie. You can see clips though. I mean yeah. you can you can link the YouTube channel. Actually, I think you will be linking the YouTube channel, right? For the for the trailer, if somebody missed it. TB Films. TB Films, the, yeah. yeah. That you can see a lot of different clips from different stuff, and uh, yeah, and that, oh, yeah, right. Taylor Taylor said not play pool like that's something that you don't specialize in. So oh yeah, well there you go. Yeah. See, I used to be great at pool, but Taylor is a is a pool shark, and she beat both of our asses. Yeah, she and that's and that's, says, that's very embarrassing. Taylor. I'm just a girl. That's, I've never played pool. I know. Before. And she like she like and then just like totally dust all of a sudden, our ass. All of a sudden, she trashes. Yeah, she tra trashes. She trashes us, yeah. and I'd be like. She, yeah. She's like, do you want to play an album? <laughs> no, thank you. No, thanks. <laughs> we're both like, screw this. We are. I, th I think we're just lucky that she didn't that start hilarious. to bring money into it. Oh, man. We would be broke. We would have been, We'd be yeah, broke we, that we night. And then just one night, be like, yeah. she would take all the money. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for reminding this, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was great. Thanks a thanks, lot, Thanks Taylor. a lot. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and, and I'm actually, I'm looking forward. I'm actually reaching out to folks like other actors and people that had something to do with that, that would be nice because i want to have everybody on you should here bring people get, here yeah i mean i love to hear about everybody's story myself yeah. to be honest because i am we know them but we don't i mean we kind of do but we don't yeah. does that make sense like yeah. you learn so much on the show you you know about the person better. <laughs> yeah you know? and plus I, I think it'd be nice to everybody plug their own stuff yeah like you know like taylor's doing a lot of stuff you know karen doing a lot of stuff different stuff yeah, That'd I think be fun to see. I know, I know. Taylor did. Taylor did a music video. <clears throat> That's right. Right before, right before Dead Community Guild, yeah. she actually did a great uh, uh, music video. I forgot the band name. She might have posted there, maybe. But uh, it was a, it was a cool, cool song. But uh, Connor actually shot this. He shot. He he was a photographer. Was butterfly. Butterfly. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was butterfly. Connor shot it. Taylor acted in it. It was great. It looked. Great. Yeah. I loved and it. then. It was really good. She's in a film, and I think like her. She's making a movie now too. Like, yeah, she's she's like, another. She's another film right now. Yeah. Which one is it? I need. She, um, she texted. I, I know. I know they had to shoot in one night at an apartment. That's right. They blocked all the yeah. windows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was like a full day, like a full sixteen or eighteen hour day. Something of just shooting like that. In that apartment. Yeah, but she used to that. She but, worked with us. You like, know what? She was like from a morning to the end. She worked with yeah, us. So yeah. Yeah. But you know that that just means Taylor. Yeah, we you want promo. We also want we also on. want to see some promo stuff from from the new film. So bring bring it to Oh, Damselfly. Moon Shadows is the name of the band. Damselfly is the song. Thank you. Thank you uh, for that. That will be another it. link. We will definitely absolutely put, put it in. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. And we love you too, Tay. We, we love, love you, Tay. Too. But uh yeah, and and that's what and that's what I love is, you know, this this is uh this has opened up a lot of opportunities for a lot of people oh, yeah, to, to be in different things. Yeah. And, I I feel like it, really it, it 
I feel yeah. like it's not pushed them. It just feel like it got like, oh, we can do this. We yeah. Let's do more. You yeah. know, and that's cool. I, I feel good about that. That always makes me happy. Yeah. You know? and, I, yeah. and I think that speaks a lot for you as a director mm -hmm. is, you know, like I, I noticed when whenever I'm filming with you, there is this vibe of, oh, this, this ain't as fucking hard as they make it out to be. Yeah, like we're, to, at, we're just out here, yeah, for, you know, like yeah. and it's a very easy, yeah. very, like, very relaxed vibe. Just, except for when you yell at me, man, you know. Yeah, but. That happens. To me. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, man. Then, uh, then we're gonna forgive that. That's always oh, no, that's, that, the, that's the day the, I die. I'll hear this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll, no, no, no. But the, they'll they'll like I, they'll put it on your tombstone. Oh shit! He, 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 he yelled, yelled at Nick. Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be the thing. That's hilarious. I like I like <laughs> I, I like it, dude. Let me tell you this. But seriously, what you brought up before is awesome. Yeah, if everybody and, and I was just saying the same thing. I was gonna say when some it, because. I feel like we everybody in this project has a real lot of different talents, like I mentioned before. If at any point they start believing that they do and they can do it, I feel like we already accomplished a lot. Yeah. You know, and that's a big accomplishment. Yeah. So we did already something big, you know, for yeah. them to feel that way. So that's important. Yeah, and yeah. that's what like you like you said before, this is Taylor's first film ever. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, especially yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, first yeah. film, first yeah. feature length film yeah, on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and she did a she and did she, fantastic, she, she, fantastic. She she just kind of, she slid into mm -hmm. that into mm -hmm. that into that role like she'd done it her whole life. I know. And you know? see, it, and I was, was very good, very cool. Good, good, good point again. I was gonna talk about her a little bit because she's a lead and what she did, man. When first couple of days, she was a little bit like uncomfortable, but then she got in that role so so like, totally into that role. That at that point, I even told her one time we filmed. I was like, "I don't have to tell you. You know this character. You are this character. You already live in this character." Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, I am." <laughs> she was. She was. Yeah. She really got into it, and she 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 gave it hundred and ten percent. Oh yeah. yeah. And she did a great job, man. Really, I cannot wait for you guys to see it. She did a fantastic job. Really good actress. Now there there is another shout out <clears throat> that I would like to give. Okay. And for for a brief moment, everybody sees in the trailer. There's a very creepy looking girl. Oh, that's right, Shandy. And yeah, Shandy, Shandy playing, the, playing the part of the creepy girl, and also uh, who did my, the makeup my, my and the mom, effects? Yeah, my mom did an go. amazing, yeah. amazing makeup effects. That's funny because I, I I showed my mom uh, the script, and she just like uh, my mom's name is Layla, by the way. Uh, but I I showed her the script, and she she was like, okay, well this is cool. Yeah. How are you gonna do this, the the girl? I was like, well, I'm still kind of not sure. <laughs> you know, so so she's like, okay. Do you mind if I kind of, kind of just kind of see what I can do? I was like, yeah, please. So she started designing the character, and when I saw what they come up with, what my mom came up with, and Shandy when they did the all this uh, like a uh, trying stuff on the makeup, the the the, the dress and everything, yeah. I was like. Mom, can you do this? Can you be on the set? Just let's make <laughs> this is amazing. This is great. That's amazing effects. And well, I'll tell you, my mom did a fantastic job. Yeah, and then I mean, you saw it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and where we shot that was out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Nowhere, just woods. So what? So I have to admit, I want. So wanna, who, I wanna, who was who was it that, that that allowed us out there? Uh, it was it was a lady. I don't remember her name. We need. Let me find out on that. Yeah. And then I will also link that. But let's yeah. let because I I don't remember the name. I feel terrible. But we we'll, we'll find out. We we'll get back to that. But uh, my mom, I want to come back to that. My mom did an amazing job to the point that the effects turn out to be like they are amazing. Like they, it's one of the best effects in the movie. Yeah. So uh, thanks, mom. Good job. Awesome. <laughs> she did an amazing job, and you've seen it. You you you've seen the effects. Oh, dude, I saw I it's, saw it in person, and it right. scared the shit out of well, me. Well, it's I'm just telling you, being in person, I'm telling like, you that so that's like, that's just amazing too. And I was like really yeah. impressed because. The effects that we saw and you guys will see in the movie, you it will scare you. It's yeah. it's top notch. It's amazing. So my mom did amazing. Uh, uh, um, Shandy did amazing. She played who played the character, you know, and uh, she did great. She was a, a real trooper because she had to go through a lot of craziness through the effects. You yeah. know what I mean? Because well, was, then not on top. And not, uh, not so to mention, she, and she was a know, trooper. Huge, she was like, I'm doing yeah. it. I'm gonna do it right. And she did a great job. And yeah. that and that huge like you know like there's. Dress and there was oh yeah like, don't, we spoil, don't spoil it well, no, don't I'm spoil, just spoil, saying spoil, like we were walking over spoiler, woods spoiler. and all this kind of <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah and, yeah, yeah, yeah just, we're not gonna spoil that oh yeah. no no because no, I no, want no, this yeah. character to just pop up and be like yeah. shit like and be like <laughs> whoa and it will scare you I guarantee you there's gonna be one I don't know no spoilers that's it no spoilers no spoilers no more <laughs> you're gonna love it I, it's it's pretty amazing and I, I'm absolutely proud of this it's gonna yeah. be it's this scene is awesome so yeah uh everybody see everybody 
got in and did a fantastic job. And 110 percent. That's why it's all. That's why it's always yeah. good, man. You don't do half ass. You do 110. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. So what comes next? Like you know, obviously this you know it's gonna do its theatrical deal and all this stuff. And okay, well, is the, it gonna is it gonna go to film festivals and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. As soon as it hits Dumas' first major premiere and the mm-hmm. big red carpet thing, then it goes to the festivals. Hopefully, wins festivals. And if it does win festivals, like hopefully while it's playing other places, it also playing and winning festivals. Yeah, that's the goal. That's always the goal. And then hopefully distribution. We're not gonna talk about the contacts about distribution because we don't do that on the show. No. You know? yeah. yeah. But we we hopefully gonna distribute this professionally and we'll see what happens. So yeah. there you go. And then after all is said and done, yeah, what can we expect next from Emil Inc. From Emil Inc. Yeah. I, I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> well see that's the thing that it might be a totally different it might be a, a music album. Yeah. Because I always do music and film. It might be another film. I'll split myself up. <laughs> yeah, flip, flip, flip. <laughs> it might be another film. It might be, I don't know, man. But it's it's gonna be either one of those, or it might be yeah. told, or maybe I'd be like, I want to do this now. Yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. And it always always depends also where I am, as far as like where this film is gonna take us. Like Heist took us to obviously be like, okay, well let's make another one. People love it. Yeah, critics love it. So if that takes us that same level, then maybe a film. If it doesn't. Might be a record, might be a new record, but I it will always be something. I can yeah. tell you that it will definitely be something. I just don't know. <laughs> I never can predict or I can never plan ahead that far. Yeah. But I can tell you, you'll get something from Emil, Emil Inc. for sure, either a film or a record or maybe something like I said. Totally, I don't know. Opposite a book. <laughs> no, no, what? I'm kidding, dude. It will never be a book, you bro. You might learn how to paint. Oh, you know? shit, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's funny. Well, you'll see something. Probably oh, yeah. either record or film. Hell yeah. 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 Well, that's good to hear, man. I definitely love everything that you do. Thank you, I man. love being a part of it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the Glad to have you to be like, a, the, the team, like, on the team as well. Of yeah. Course. yeah. Like, fucking... If I would have known that getting a job at Guitar Center would not only introduce me to a strong homie, <laughs> but you know get get me into you know involved in a lot of these awesome projects and really like actually do something yeah you know what i mean and not just kind of eh, yeah you know yeah like it and, and that's one of the things that I, that I love about you is you're 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 doing shit man you're like thanks dude i'm gonna make a movie people talk about making movies mm-hmm. for years and decades like oh yeah one of these days i had this <laughs> idea for this yeah. movie and it's like well, yeah, when did you come up with that idea? Like 1973. <laughs> you know, but you, you come up with an idea and you're like, all right, let's fucking go. Let's do it. You know, yeah, let's do it. and that's and that's yeah. admirable as hell. Thanks, like, dude. I appreciate it. For real, that. for real. Uh, it, it's definitely you. nice to be friends with somebody that's actually doing stuff. Dude, I thank you. Know, you. That thank does you, what, thank does you for what those kind words, do, dude. I appreciate it. And does a fantastic fucking job about it. Man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate but, you. Yeah. Kind words, dude. Thank you. And uh, as I said earlier, if anybody has questions or anything for Emil before we wrap up here in a little while, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll get them to or get to them and all that if we haven't covered it yet. Yes. And uh, all, all you ladies out there, I, I, I hate to inform you, but Emil is not available. Nope. Okay. So keep your panties to yourself. <laughs> keep your damn panties to yourself. However, on the other hand, Nicholas here. Right, is for, it, for right? obvious reasons. Ah, shut the hell up! <laughs> <laughs> shut the hell up! <laughs> oh man, but yeah, man, fucking, but yeah, awesome, appreciate dude. you coming on here. Absolutely, and stuff. anytime, man. And, Whatever uh, you need from anything from from for you, man. You oh just yeah, let me dude. Know, and that's what I actually I actually have scripts. Good. I know scripts the, exactly. Not one, but yeah, several. We got two coming down the pike right now yeah. that are both. Pretty, pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what else would you expect? And Nick told me about but, him. Uh, actually, great stuff. Yeah. I'm excited to to be a part of it somehow. You know, yeah. let me know what you need, and we'll, we'll get it. We'll Hell get it done, yeah, son. <laughs> well, dude, Mr. Emil, I appreciate you being on here, brother. Absolutely, brother. Uh, uh, you're my bro, man. My bro. And uh, yeah, so if y'all want to check out that uh, that trailer, the link will be down in the description. And if you want to see more. Oh, shit. <laughs> this whole time. I wasn't even on the right camera, y'all. There you go. There you go. This camera switch. <laughs> Push the button. There you go. Yep. Yeah. If you guys want to check out more stuff by Emil Link, there will be 
The link's down in the description if you want to check out that trailer over and over and over and over and over again like I have. <laughs> then there will be a link for that also down in the description for Dead Community Guild. And uh, yeah. And if obviously, like and subscribe if you want to see more of the discussions. We'll be having more of the, the actors and producers and all that from Dead Community Guild, as well as some other people, especially locally, that are on the come up that are doing stuff. That's kind of our thing here. But, man, I want to thank everybody for being here. Yeah, thank you, guys. And especially thank my boy, Emil Inc., for being here. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll see you guys next time, next Saturday, 8 p.m. Don't know what we're doing yet. Kind of like Emil. We're going to have something. <laughs> But yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. See you guys. Peace.